Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Beldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, welcome in also. What are we upgrading now? Uh, this block right here. We need to give it some advanced chemical plants so that we have more... More so that we have more productivity bonus um, than anything else. Um, but while we're at it, we may as well... I mean, we will uh, increase the... Holy crap. Yeah, why don't we give it tier 6 prods as well, since... Um, since our Immersite flow isn't that good just yet. Um, do we actually have... I think we need another block to process Immersite Cave Core Fragments, because I think that might be our bottleneck right now. Uh, Immersite Cave Core Fragment Consumption. Hmm, it does dip, at least... Some of the time. I did just add a bunch of uh, spaceships, though. Like, more than five yesterday. But we've only got this little moon for Immersite Cave Core Fragments, but they're still constantly saturated anyway. Uh, we actually get Immersite Cave Core Fragments surprisingly quickly. Each of these drills... However many that may be, uh, is giving us 2.3 per second for a total of just under 30, barely under 30 per second. Um, how many core fragments can we consume in this block? It should be 48. Yeah, yeah, this, this block will be able to keep up until we get a new outpost. Um, crash chip be gone. So this is definitely not our bottleneck here. Not until we get a new outpost for Immersite Cave Core Fragments. Or expand the one that we've already got, but it should already be fairly deep into diminishing returns uh, with 13 drills. And most of the planet covered already. That might actually be every drill on the planet. Uh, every seam, that is. Um, but yeah. No, we do need more ships, apparently. So that wasn't a waste. Or at least they haven't caught up yet. Uh, anyway, I would like to design a block to do Immersite Crystal with the advanced chemical plants. How stupid is 13 being? Oh no. 13's being a good boy. He's, he's, he's moving. Twisty P, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Fat boy not so slim, good to see you again as well. Question, what setting do I need to mess with to allow me to use editor extension GD items in my save? Time to cheat with infinity chests. Uh, just don't um, check the button. Uh, mod settings per player, down where you have the testing lab. It's like two settings up above that. Sync inventory and cursor between play modes. You can use that to transfer items between the editor and the main game. Okay. Let's remove all this and this give ourselves a regular block and then some advanced chemical plants let's go prod six Uh, what am I doing? Immersite Crystal. Rod 6 goes here. Actually, I, I want to rate it for Tier 9 modules, and we'll, then we'll put the Prod 6s in after that. So how many of these can we cozily fit? 
probably way more than we'll ever need. Um, let's see. How much? I'm probably going to have to shut the window again. Uh, how, how much are we looking at here? 33 per second. Give me a minute. Sweet thanks, last resort, but I'm ready to finish this save, indeed. Alright, uh, we need some speed modules, and probably this many efficiency modules right here. Uh, plus 300% power consumption, negative 80. And we can only fit 12 of these if we don't go double, which we might be able to get away with. And then we're looking at... Two hundred and forty-one per second. I don't know how I'm going to fit that. Um, that is... Uh, almost... Well, it's more than... It's more than two purple belts. Actually, we just need one belt of output each. Wait, no, that's not right. Um, it's two physicals in, two physicals out, and a fluid. Let's see, each column is looking at just over 90 out. I think I could happily bottleneck on the belt. Uh, just barely under half a belt of emosite powder in. Okay. Um, but we do need two belts for each of these, and I just don't quite have that much space. Unless... If I move this up two tiles... That doesn't even touch, and I don't think we would have found the room for belts anyway if I did that. Big cool, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Bad T-Hacks muted before going to close a window. We couldn't hear him yelling at the dog. I don't yell at the dog. The dog will just think I'm barking with it. What's the point of that? How much fluid do we need? Uh, 448 per second, which is a, a, a lot, but like the pipes would be fine. That's good insight. Petri Cottontail, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Is there a way I can make this work? I don't think so. Not if I want to be able to fit everything. Yeah, we're like two tiles short for this. Uh, I think I'll just do like 12 on each side. It's It's going to be way more than we need anyway, right? Gobix, good morning. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. What if we do the fluid down the middle? It's probably a bad idea. But we just need one purple belt out, right? N no, we need... 60 plus 120 is two purple belts out. In fact, it's got a bottleneck on the output belt with two output purple belts. Uh, one whole belt of fine emosite powder and more than half a belt of silicon. Uh, let's see, each column we could do one input belt and I could do one output belt if I don't care about just barely bottlenecking on the output belt. Uh, but then we've got plenty of room. I think I'll do both the inputs and outputs on the outside for the belts. And then we can just 
do our pipes down the middle. So we're going to have a bulk rail unloader right about here somewhere. And I don't think... Well, let, let's figure out the belts first, and then we can figure out how far across we can move them. Um... So maybe just a purple belt down the middle, or down the side. Wait a sec, why don't we do the inputs on the middle? In the middle, since that's going to be simple. Pretty sure we can fit that, no problem. Superior, inserter... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Those should be long arms. No, those should not be long arms. We lived in Dolimetry? Dolimetry? Do Dolmetry during high school. What is this word? I've never heard it before. Dolmetry. Dormitory. Oh, it's a typo. Okay. During my high school, all town dogs uh, decided to bark and howl one night. My roommate opened a window and barked at them, back at them. Suddenly there was silence for five to ten seconds. <laughs> but then they all started again. They were just confused for a moment. More than we need is blasphemy in Factorio. Shame on you? Oh no. Don't call the Factorio, please. Zindu? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess it would be more like the Factorio Inquisition. This player has not been making everything more faster. Heresy. Um, okay, so we should be able to have Less than 45 plus less than 45 for the two solid inputs. That should be fine. It might be a little bit awkward to squeeze it in here, but that won't be impossible. And then we can just have outfit belts. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Normally... Uh, we do it something like this. Just merging into one belt. Except we can just not block this side for the final one, and that should be... Um, it, it should avoid any uh, belt limitations. Belt bottlenecking. And we'll need two pickup stations. One for purple crystals, one for yellow crystals. Sulfur. Okay, okay. Which I'm pretty sure, I'll just double check, but I'm pretty sure that's exactly what we've got in our extant build. Um, and then I won't have to replace it. Good, good, good. Sulfur is here anyway. Isn't this a high priority pickup? It is. Hmm. Oh, I did set the provide stack threshold to 160. Back before I realized I could just like... Limit the front to less than 100 stacks to make sure we don't get some sulfur stuck on the belt when the train comes to pick it up. We want to make it short train and long train accessible. Um, alright. Uh, I think I do want... As much as it's going to be overkill to double this. So 
only 24 machines after all. Now then, is that actually all there is to it? I think so. Are we ever picking up here with a uh, short train? Um, I don't know if I've ever actually used it for that. Hmm. Hmm. I could put an extra container here. Or just belt them all over here and then two belts forward. Let's do that. And we'll limit this to like... 30 stacks. And then... Why don't I move all of these down a little bit? And then we can neatly put this over here. Alright, so... Same, same, but opposite. On this side. Except... I want to move this over... So it lines up pretty well with the fluid drop-off. Where's the middle? It's hard to see. That should be fine. And then some undergrounds. That actually looks kind of weird. That also looks weird. Mm, grumble, grumble. Alright, alright. Uh, we're gonna do a... Fluid drop-off. Oh, we might need to make sure that it gets consumed in a balanced way. Hmm... Is it okay to put the fluid drop-off up here? 448 per second? Yeah, probably. And... that goes there. That doesn't line up there very well. This can go here. And then? I can either merge it all in one big container. Well, we're only dropping off two solids, so I could put like a train load and a half of each. Push it all to this side. How fast do we go through all this though? I've only got one belt to push it forward. Um, yeah, that's like approaching two purple belts. Unless I move Unless I get the fluid in in a different way, and I don't really want to do that. Hmm. What about some pipe spaghetti? Uh, belt spaghetti, rather. Oh. Wait, that's all we need, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we need is one splitter to merge split it. Uh, yeah, no, that's... That's still correct, though. Um... So this goes here. And we'll just do the same side. 
on both sides. Otherwise we'd have to hope that the ratios are always perfect. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Uh, silicon and fine emesite powder. Silicon on the left. Powder on the right. Don't flip them. And that side of the belt will be preserved when we merge it with the splitter. Merge and split it with the splitter. Um, let's do some test input. Looks good. We need less than one belt for each of those. Yeah, that should be fine. I'll admit I'd like it better if the powder was on the near end on both sides. But this makes whatever else we would have put here a lot more elegant. Alright. And then fluid. We need immersium sulfide. Easy enough. I'm kind of surprised you don't have those circuit wires in the blueprint. Um. Oh, do you mean when I place the... This thing? I guess. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I knew we had to have the sulfur drop off here, but I kind of forgot about actually getting the sulfur out at all. Um, <laughs> oops. Let's, uh, let's just delete all that for now. So how should I go about it? How much do we get from each side? Less than one purple belt for each type of resource. So we could probably literally just configure the splitters that we've already got. And halve the belts here. Alright, so crystals to the middle? Perhaps? And we only need one of these. And... Uh, how much sulfur are we getting? Less than one belt. Let's do a merger right about here. And I'll actually put a thingy for sulfur here. Just so it's really obvious where that's going. And we could probably do the old delivery cannon chest with the rate that we've got. But it's a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Byproduct. So I want to leave as much room for it as possible. So that we get some trains um, bringing the byproduct somewhere else. before it gets filled up. So we've got a little bit more than one entire bulk rail loader to store sulfur. We can have short trains or long trains pick this up. High priority. Provide stack threshold 100. You need a dough? <laughs> Maybe. Um, and then same thing with this, except for the high priority, and that should be fine. Station names, sulfur. Uh, sulfur? Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to do both sides, didn't I? So this will be mostly symmetrical. One, two. Uh, how much sulfur are we looking in t at in total? Between one and two belts. Um, hmm. Where where is this gonna work? How how is this gonna work? How much do we get from the whole thing? Two forty. Yeah, more than more than two belts. Um, I guess we are gonna have this much. Whoops. That's not what I'm. That's not what I meant. Um, like that and like that. And like this? Is that even going to be possible? I need to merge the sulfur in. How much sulfur do we get from all three of these? Just over one belt. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, that's unfortunate. Maybe I need to move this down a little bit. I can move this up a bit, and then we're not being, like, symmetrical over here, which is a crime. In 200 years, someone finds ruins of t Hax's base, and they will think that station names are the... part of this... <laughs> part of some kind of the puzzle to find a treasure? Maybe the treasure was the... the Factorio blueprints we made along the right... Wait, I don't know. Something like that. Um, so all of this is less than one belt of sulfur, right? Yes. So that can merge in here. And then we've got two belts of sulfur like this. Uh, and we can probably just... How much is from here? 30.2? Could probably literally just do it like that. How messy would it be to put some... put a splitter here? Uh, not that messy? Actually, you could just sulfur like that. In keeping with the convention over here. So then we've got room to do this. And this. And this. I'm sure it's not gonna... Holy crap, it's one tile off reaching straight across this whole thing. Purple belts are amazing. Uh, I wonder if this would look neater, or if we should put another underground. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, let me put in a drop-off over here, and then... Could I... oh no. Oh no. There we go. Why are we not putting... silicon in here? Oh, because I didn't put the, uh, the wires. There we go. You know, at least we could make this part symmetrical relative to the other side. 
Wait, what? Hold on. That's what I had in mind. There we go. Symmetry for the win. And we could probably connect these. I don't see any harm in it. Oh, really? Alright. Can we steal from our current build for these settings? Oh, that's bright. One off, indeed. They will not know that treasure is the knowledge itself, indeed. Fraser K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 16k, that's like two of the old train loads. Uh, 100 times 150 is 15k. You know what, this is already close enough um, to what we need to ask for. I'll just leave it as it is. But I'll ask for the Immersium Sulfide on both sides. Which is probably unnecessary, but it's fine. You could even use the space between the tanks for more storage. I don't think we need that much storage. Um, I think the Immersium Sulfide is going to get consumed rather quickly. Um... And we just have to... Like, there's only one use for it, I believe. Sulfide. Right click. Um, I stand corrected. It goes into making... Wait, what? Fine emesite powder. Oh. Yeah, that's just up here. And the fine emesite powder only goes into this, I'm pretty sure. So, effectively... Huh. Okay, this is something we should probably be doing. Find emesite powder plus rare metals to make immersium beam, as opposed to just immersium plate. Spend a much more common resource um, to get those effectively cheaper. Same goes for Immersium Gear Wheels. And Immersium Plate itself. It gives us some sulfur as well. Although, the place that's consuming all of our Immersium is not... In, it's it's not plate or beams or anything like that. It, it's always, for example, uh, the material testing packs. So I don't know that it makes that much difference. But certainly I could uh, go ahead and upgrade those at some point. Look at them go. Testing packs so fast relative to stack size. Oh, I should put prod sixes here. That's going to save us a lot. Upgrading existing blocks. Yes, indeed. Um, all right. So we're full on this now. I want to make sure all of this is working. Looks like it is. And we're pretty much empty here right now, right? So this is actually a good opportunity. Oops. Stop the trains. This is in the same spot. That's convenient. Um, step one. Pick these up. Step two. Let's um, block this off. 
and even just throw it into here. And then we'll be able to shift C to get that out of our inventory as we go. I don't want to waste a drop of this fluid. I usually don't like wasting a drop of anything, even if I've got plenty of it, unless we're talking about water. Whoops. Rip. Unbelievably small amount of... There's actually like 10 units here. Whatever, it's fine. Wait, is this not connected to... Yes, it is. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, did I just put... No. We've got plenty of the solids. So it doesn't matter if they're thrown into the chemical plants. Also, what color is going to work? best with this. Concrete block. That's okay. Good start. Um, bricks. Nah. Refined concrete. I don't mind that. Let's try the black reinforced. That's generally easier on the eyes, and the light reinforced. I'm yet to find a build where it looks okay. It's too bright. Yeah. Let's go the black concrete, I think. Um, so let's get our train over here already. Wait for like a whole minute of inactivity and go. And I just realized the decon plan is going to be all over the place. Wait, no, did all my bots get sent to the Shadow Realm? Oh, they did. Oh no. Rip bots. I could bring them back by... No clap, clap, clap. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I, I could bring them back by... Um... No yay. Rude. I could bring them back by turning on and off this sink hands thing. Why not? Let, let's rescue our poor bots. Once I get some room in my inventory. Okay, um, so how do I do this? I'm not going to delete the bots by doing that, right? Well, first I should blueprint this. Um... Blueprint. I'm going for advanced immersite crystal. Is that what it's called? Immersite crystal and advanced chemical plant. And then we'll go with snap to. Get rid of the cheat items. Get rid of these loaders. Try and make my voice work. There we go. Um, and that should be everything. And the snap two is wrong. Eighty six twenty five one. Looks good. And where are we doing all that chemisite stuff? Here it is.
Alright, now we can delete this. And then we need... We need our bots... Uh, into our hands, I think? How many bots do I have here? We won't be able... Well, I, I won't be bothering to rescue the little bit of emosite powder and silicon. But if I switch on... Sync inventory between cursor... Sync, sync inventory and cursor between play modes. It's inventory as well. Uh, I'm going to save in case I mess this up. Aren't supposed to pick them up? Steal some from the construction train. No, I, I want to bring these bots back. They will not be abandoned to the Shadow Realm. That's the idea. Did that train not finish its job? I think it went home. Bruh. Whatever, let's try this. Uh... Hmm. I think I'm going to delete everything in my inventory if I start from the opposite end. Settings, mod settings per player. Sync inventory and cursor between play modes. And then I should have picked up the bots after that. Whatever, I'll just take the 50 bots and then there they are. And then we'll turn off. Let's just pretend we rescued the same bots. Where's our train? Did it not get all the black reinforced plate last time? There's 3.6 thousand here, so I don't think something happened. The train feared that you'd banish its bots? No, it's the player character's bots only. It can get banished like that. Cheated a few electrons into those bot batteries? It's fine. Oh, these need to be upgraded. Let's swing the construction ship past. At uh, construction ship? Close air support? Upgrade. Uh, how about all of these? Fast check GTP if I should pick up falling hair. Okay. There we go. Inactivity, 60 seconds. Should build all the tiles. This time. Oh, that run speed is much nicer. Not sure what stopped him from doing all this last time. Also, why does that look darker? Is it because of the trains? It is it's the train shadow, isn't it? Okay then. Oh, I know. Why don't I just put some pumps up here? And then we can remove the rest of the pipe with Reckless Abandon. Cool, cool, cool.
and it still isn't. How are we not loading a full trainload of uh, black plate? Don't understand. Also, why are we taking out stone brick right now? I thought I... How did I program this thing? If train is detected, output one time, and this is a timer. Uh, each time's negative one. Oh, that's the contents of the train. If timer greater than 3.6k. Oh, so it empties and then puts it all back in. Wait, no, 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 no. 3.6k is a minute. Why do we wait a minute before... before loading the train. Probably doesn't take that long anymore. Waiting for bots to catch up? Yeah, that's might be it. If they were left behind. That would be one reason to empty them, but... Are we setting filters? Yeah, we are. We don't put bots in these, though. Oh, we do put bots in these ones. Yeah, I think it's to... Prob hmm. There's nothing here that says empty the bots, though. Hmm. Oh, come off it. 45 seconds in activity. Well, that's going to take a while. Uh, let's just pick all this stuff up. And I guess we're going to pick up pieces of floor, or at least remove the ghosts. Just have to place it again, I guess. Where should I put all this sand? And where did I get all this sand? We have solenoids. Um, we could drop off sand at the old sand factory. Why do I have beryllium powder and one vitalic reagent? And Ion exchange beads? Lithium chloride? Where am I getting this stuff? What? What the? Crushed naquitite? I definitely accidentally cheated in some items. Um... Um, let's just remove the stuff that is inconvenient as well, but also probably got cheated in. 
We don't have, like, tier 9 modules in here that I stole, right? I have to use the mini railgun for this. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Chip seat. Should have gotten rid of the two beryllium powder with that as well. Hurry up, bots. You bot dummy. Get in here. 2.4 megawatts. Max consumption 5 megawatts. This is nowhere near enough. And away they go. Didn't realize we were watching a Cheetosaurus. Oh no. Should I kill the last 10 minutes and go back in the save? The stone is backed up. Are the boxes full? Which stone? Oh, I'm putting powder up there. Didn't even realize. Am I, like, rebalancing this over and over? I think I am. Also, why is this not limited? If we're allowing short trip, what the, what the, that, that should probably have a limit on it. Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, we can't prod this, but I could replace it with higher tier bonuses be a bit more UPS friendly. Also, we could put some speed modules and stuff in. Um, but I've seen this have plenty of downtime, so I don't think we have to worry about it just yet. You were watching the same T-Hacks, just showing the hacks box? Alright, did we finally pick all this up? I think so. Is this guy ready to go? Looks like it. It's trying to put more... It's trying to put more plate in. How do we not have it? Are we actually short on the plate? That might be it. Because I've been demanding so much of it lately and we've got this one little machine diligently building them at a rate of... 4.5 per second. Uh, but it's actually bottlenecked on the output inserter. Nope, it's the input of refined concrete. Or it may be a bit of both. Maybe a little bit of both. There we go. There we go. What are you doing here? Um, alright, let's chuck our blueprint down. I've got everything else in place. What's that? Oh, did I destroy a piece of belt or something? I think so. Rip belt. Alright, advanced plants. Go in here. Wire connection. Look. Looks good. Construction train. If you please. Might only need one trip for this, but possibly two. That should definitely be more than enough to get the whole thing built. What's this train looking for? Also sulfur. We need this piece of belt in particular. 
Can I borrow some? One of my bots. There we go. Oh, and we don't have tier 9 modules, obviously. I do have the tier 6 prods on me. And whatever fits in here. Plus 860%. Plus 260%. Minus 40. I can live with minus 40. So that was this many efficiency modules. Eight speed modules. Oh, and I forgot to replace some of these with the undergrounds. Um, how about this one? And that probably be about it, actually. No, I think I like this better. Functionally the same thing. And upgrade pretty much complete. Here it comes. So what kind of rate are we going to get now? Uh, 143 emesite crystals per second. This is... We knew all this already, but this is very much not going to be our bottleneck uh, for a long time to come. We need more sulfide. Uh, what machines can we make immersium sulfide in? If we can't use productivity modules... Oh, advanced chemical plant. Sure. I was going to say bring a biochemical facility or four down here. Bottom left off? Bottom left off? No! Uh, construction train, come back. You know what I should... Why has it got a f efficiency sixes in it? Whatever. Get back here. Wait for me. Now when do we get our sulfide? We're up to 30k. I'll just confirm... Yeah, we can't put prods in this. I should replace it with advanced chemical plants, though, just to have fewer machines. I could redo the whole... Well, this one wouldn't be very different, since it's using pulverizers. Um, but I could redo the whole immersium chain so that we can use prod sixes all the way through. Assuming we have that many. We might. All right, all right, all right, all right, 24k, that's low enough to request a delivery. I want the next delivery to come down here. Sulfide has no wide area beacon. Yeah, it's not the bottleneck though. Um, the bottleneck is actually providing raw emesite still.
And that current bottleneck is actually spaceships. Because I'm pretty sure this is our only Immersite cave core fragment planet. Um, every time I check on this, it's completely saturated. This one's going up to pick up Immersite right now. Let's do the math. Um, okay, so we've got... Let's see. Uh, 13 drills. I think we said it was barely under 30, right? Let's just call it 30 core fragments per second. Our ships can carry approximately 18,520. Uh, core fragments. So it takes 617 seconds. Um, let's just call it 600 seconds. So 10 minutes. It takes 10 minutes to... If we have a ship every 10 minutes here, um, we're going to keep up with our Immersite Cave core fragments. I think it's already only... Uh, We've got a five minute cooldown on when we can send a ship. So we don't really have to change anything here. As long as we have enough spaceships um, that they'll pseudo randomly get dispatched to every outpost, um, we should get our full throughput of Immersite. Weren't additional ships placed yesterday? Yeah, I think seven or eight of them from 22. What are we up to now? Uh, we're actually only up to 28, so 6. The answer is 6. Can I just trigger a delivery here? I want to see this working. Here we go. Immersite Sulfide 40k. What a sound. Oh, it didn't even fill it up. Uh, yeah, obviously. Triggered an early delivery. Alright, here we go. I wonder why it started working on the left side first, even though the fluid has a more direct route down to here. Maybe there was, like, 79 immersium sulfide in here or something. Um, but yeah. Holy crap, it's... no it hasn't. It's drained like a quarter of it so far. 614 per second. That tracks, I suppose. Oh, and this was supposed to be limited to, like, 30 stacks. Also, we don't need a delivery cannon chest here. Oh. Very good. Now, let's go and increase the prod bonus for probably by far our biggest consumer of Immersite Crystals. Captain True, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. More squirrels. Oh, no. Right sulfur belt stuck? Right sulfur belt. Uh, yeah. You're right, actually. Okay. Let's send the construction... ...past that. And... 
I forgot to go pick up more prods. Oh no. More flying. Where are we going? Here we go. Give me those prod sixes. I've got seven stacks. Well, six and a half. I've got a lot of crap in my inventory I want to get out of. Get out of? Get rid of right now. Um... Where's my rocket fuel? That. Chemical plants, concrete, landfill. Get out of here. Wait, I might need the bit. Oh. Okay, I don't think I do need the beacons right now. And away we go with the prods. I think I may as well grab all the other tier sixes. Oh, we got our um maximum tier power armor researched. I didn't even notice. Probably because I was in the editor, so we didn't get the doop doop. There we go, and I think it was like this many speed modules, a negative 40% power consumption, and we probably have to upgrade the belts now. 119 material ten. Wait a if if as a frizzer. Um. That's kind of a lot. Um, can the inputs be supported by one belt on each column? Uh, no. No, they can't. Because we're just under a hundred input items per second. Rip sushi. I'm gonna just upgrade it to purple for the moment anyway. We'll do a bigger build later. Just... I'm just gonna be lazy and make all of it purple belt. Except... Except, except, except. Purple splitter goes here, just so that we can fit this over the over this way. Don't tell me we need more. Also, I can't. Uh, I can't fit that there. Um. Okay, well, first of all, these bots back in here. How much purple belt do we have left? A little bit. No more actual belt. Just at all the undergrounds and stuff. Okay. Are you still floating? You are. They've all got empty spaces. Go back to the construction train loader, please. Wind it up between the machines. Uh, I was just going to, instead of putting it all on one belt, bring this down here. Except... I mean, I could do it this way. No, I couldn't. 
Bruh. Bruv, no. I do it through there. And then... Put this one... Like so. And then this one's awkward as hell. What a disaster. There we go. We got there eventually. And then... Purple belt faces south. We still don't have enough? What? Is there not enough in the mall? There's plenty of belt in the mall. What's going on here? Try again. Oh, how much am I even requesting in the train? Two stacks. That should be enough. Oh, this was like four stacks. Yeah, but two trips should have done it then. Yeah, I don't get it. Uh, this should get the job done now. There we go. And then remove this. Remove that. We might need faster inserters. No, only 3.74 for seven four per second per machine. That said, inserters that swing faster will be a bit more UPS friendly. I think. How's the input so far ahead? I guess because the output was blocked. Okay. Upgrade planner. Here it is. Long arms. Become long arms. Probably going to need multiple trips for this one. Yep. And we've got a hovering bot. Which, come to think of it, is probably going to throw off... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm swimming in prod modules. Uh, this guy goes in here, otherwise the train will reset its entire contents. So that we can rebalance the bots. Oh, wait, I didn't realize. Hold on, what are we putting on the sushi belt? Plastic, rare metals, and imicite crystal. And the other two are on this belt. So, 3 times 20 is like 60. So we can... Yeah, we can support this. Oh, it's uh, saturated again. Uh, yeah, I think the... I think our current sushi can support this. Cool, cool, cool. It's a, it's a hybrid. It's sushi plus just a half belt for the copper and iron. Cool, 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 cool. We're still waiting for some superior inserters for some reason. This did get taken out of the train. I see. Alright, in that case, just make sure the train resets. 
And that way it'll come back with, uh, with speedy boys. How much black reinforced plate do we have? Not nearly enough. Let's, let's do some temporary stone brick, because I'm tired of looking at that snow. We've already got stone brick in the train. Should get the job done. There she goes. Wind it. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. So we're actually saturated on material testing packs. Or not? Where, where are our trains? Uh oh. I have a feeling we are not, in fact, saturated on material testing packs. So what happened? Is there really only one train moving these things? Oh. That might not be enough at this stage. I mean, I put these so close to the space elevator for a reason. It's because stack size wise, like, it's really hard to keep up with them with the trains. But I don't really feel like making more depots for these things just yet. And I'm pretty sure we need to. And I'm not really that concerned about throughput just yet. It's more materials. Are the bottlenecks that we need to move. Speaking of... Corsal Orbit... Hey, it's not totally saturated at this instant, but it looks like it probably was a minute ago. Probably. If they're constantly moving, they don't need depot space? Uh, the, the, the only reason I have the depots a lot of the time is we absolutely have to have a station that when, when a train goes up the space elevator, it needs a station that will definitely be vacant, uh, for it to be scheduled to go to. Otherwise, otherwise it's gonna, like, come through here and just, like, stop and stutter. And we're going to have serious traffic issues around the space elevator. And if I'm going to have more than one train dedicated to, say, material testing packs, I need them to go to the depots to be compatible with uh, expanding that way. Okay, that's bad. Oh no. It is not almost rocket launch time. And of course we are already bottlenecked on Immersium Sulfide, or rather the crystals themselves, the raw Immersite itself. Marcel, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I need 24, I need 96 prod sixes. Let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Let's prod six the first step of Immersite. Or I guess the first step other than core fragments. But the core fragments... Wait a sec. I would need the same number to prod core fragments. 
Maybe I should do that first. Hmm. Well, I could do both. Let's do it. Forty percent power, fantastic. So how fast can this make? Well, it's not even a question of how fast it can make powder. Actually, it is because bells. One hundred and eighty per second. Uh, both sand and crushed imazite. Uh oh. Uh oh. 45 per second for two different resources, and it's all merging into one belt for the output. All right, then. Um, superior inserters. Superior filters. Make sure we do that. And purple belt once more. That might take a few trips. Uh, and that should probably be purple as well. Just just purple everything. All the things. And a ratio are we looking at there? We would be net positive on crushed imasite, but I don't think we're going to have that saturated all the time for a little bit. And anyway, I'd like to replace these with advanced chemical plants when we do. We hover in Why can't you just swap it without bringing back the raw resources? Why gotta be this way? Also, I picked up a bunch of material testing packs. Um, okay. You can go back to the mall and then back here again. We should have enough throughput. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enough, actually. We'll, ha we'll have to change the shape of this when we actually go to tier 9s. But that will not be for a long time. Oh, we finished. No, we didn't. Thruster suit 3 is been stuck for a while. What are we missing? Advanced tech cards. Advanced tech cards are missing... I forgot to tag them up here. Why can't I place it? There we go. Actually, I don't like that. Advanced tech card... 
coming up. What are we short on? Holmium. That's not good. That's not good at all. In fact, that's very bad. It's probably just because we're taking up the ingots as opposed to turning them into plate as a priority. And we're playing catch up on that. CJD12? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Is our construction train done here? It looks like it. Fantastic. Uh, and then take me to rod up four fragments. Marcel, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Ooh, that was scary. Alright. Uh, definitely broad enough to go around. Um, it will be faster after this as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Negative forty percent power consumption. So we're looking at eighty-nine. Oh wow! This half a block does more than the. Yeah, we've more than doubled it. Twenty-four core fragments consumed per second versus fifty-seven. Uh, that's pretty good. That's ignoring the prod bonuses as well. I think it was eight. Eight speed modulus. Yep. You had greeted me earlier already, but I don't mind leaving it double. No worries. Budgie bum. Good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. How many haulers are waiting in space? Have they started playing silly buggers again? Um, there's only a few. Oh, actually, there's like s several. Uh, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 21. Um, now, why would that be? That's the recycle one. That's fine. 23 is... I think they're all waiting for their chance to land at the same spot, and it's not ending up vacant. I mean, it is probably vacant, but they're not landing there because this is inactive until the drop-off is empty. Well, that might help. That might help quite a bit. Adding almost 33% to our spaceships. And last one. Cool, cool, cool. They're probably going to get double sent to various locations. Because they're all going to be ready at about the same time. Um, but that'll sort itself out. So, all the new haulers, just about. 
Yeah. They would have gotten... They probably would have gotten working eventually. Uh, I think we have a pretty severe bottleneck here now. 45... Raw imasite per second as opposed to 180. Yeah, that might need updating. In fact, I want. I, I'm actually curious. Can our two bulk rail loaders keep up with 180 items per second? Uh, construction train is still here. I don't know if it has enough items left over. Make all blue belt purple. And put purple belt here. Uh, and we should... I guess it doesn't matter if we put a splitter if we're keeping the delivery cannon chest. Looks like they probably can keep up. I wish you wouldn't bring back the crap on the belts. Especially when it's already so tight with the stack count in this container. Alright, did we do it? I think we actually did get this one done. Oh, wow. Uh, wait. Oh, no, I forgot the filter. Oh, no. Alright. Train's coming. Probably need more storage. Holy crap. Maybe I need like two train stations here for the uh, crystals. Huh. They can keep up with two... with 180 items per second. Interesting. Very interesting. Remove the limits from the bulk loaders, then it wouldn't be balanced. But then... does it even matter? Uh, what I could do, which might be more than enough, is make it so we can schedule a train based on what's in here. No... maybe... Let's see how quickly a train arrives after this one. So as soon as all of these add up to a hundred stacks, it'll schedule a train. Then it has to actually get here. It should be about now. Yeah, no, I don't think that's cutting it. Oh, why don't I just... Well... We're not going to end up with 100 st Oh, there's only 96 stacks up here. Yeah, I could let LTN know what's in this container as well. And then it should be able to schedule, like, two trains at once to pick all this up. Maybe I should just do another, another station over here, though. There's only one train coming. There's definitely enough to schedule two trains. 
There should still be more than a hundred stacks of raw imacite here. Wait, where's it delivering it to? Maybe it's full. Or full-ish. It is not. We're only asking for 8k. That's probably why. Yeah, we need to ask for 10k. For it to be able to schedule two trains at once. Um, and we can actually do one, two, three train loads of stuff. I think I'm only dropping off crushed imasite here because... Because we were getting it from another planet. So basically it's just raw imasite that goes here. So let's say like four train loads. Should be more than enough to schedule trains for this. And now we've got two trains picking this up. Cool, cool, cool. And then the next one should get here before we run out of space. Here it comes. Before we can even get it into... into the loaders, as a matter of fact. So now it's flowing, flowing straight into the train. We got four purple belts, two on each side, for all outputs, bottlenecking. Uh, let's see. Uh, 90 plus 10, uh, 90 plus 9 plus less than 5. That shouldn't actually be a problem. It's slowing it down because there's no room for the other resources right now. But once we take enough raw imicide away, maybe? Except there's only... hold on. Yeah. No, we're doing 90 per second per times 2 with the bells, so it should just barely be able to drain the raw imicite. Um, except it keeps, like, filling up this stack with raw imicite, so we can't start moving the other things. Hmm. No, it just fills right back up again. Hmm. I can't tell if this would eventually self-correct. Hmm. Are the machines all working consistently? I think they are. Yeah, it seems consistent. Very consistent. Okay. I, I guess that's fine. Hey, we got empty belt like here and here now. It's working. It's working. There we go. Well, I'm actually kind of very pleasantly surprised to see that our invisible loaders, uh, like invisible inserters, can keep up with 180 items per second. I wonder what their limit is. Should probably test it next time we're looking at a big build. Now we'll be running this stuff faster. Oh, look at that. Yeah, now now we're bottlenecking on the Immersium Sulfide for a while. How much more would we need? Um, 
We're getting 180 per second. We're consuming only half of it. Oh. Well then. Well then. I don't know how much longer these uh, this raw emicide is going to last though. In fact, it's about to run out. Yeah, I don't think we have to worry about this for a little while. But more to the point, we've increased our productivity bonuses one, two, three steps along the chain uh, until we go consume material testing packs, which is a really, really big consumer. Oh, make, make that four. Nope, three. Yeah, three... I think we've actually prodded, prod sixed everything that can have prods in this production chain. Uh, we're not that worried about beams and plate for the moment. Although I could certainly improve the plate as well. It's working because it's out of input? Yes. Exactly. See, it's fine. Totally fine. I forgot I wanted to reset that train. Where is it? Here it comes. Oh, and we're back at the depot. Cool, cool, cool. Push those bottlenecks. Oh, I really need to get that... Oh, I just need to turn it around. Cool, cool, cool. Fantastic. Oh, and we're out of a different input now. We're out of silicon. Oh, no. Please tell me we can do better than electric furnaces for silicon. I fear the answer is no. Uh, I please tell me I didn't just did I forget to turn this off no I didn't okay. but earlier I guess I dumped all of this in the shadow realm uh I know for a waste if I just delete it. Oh no. Let me go back to the mall for a sec. One job. More rabbit holes, indeed. Midjagus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I remember your other playthrough with longer trains. Why do you have smaller ones now? Um, because I like the size of the, uh, the rail blocks, and the trains are a lot more agile. They accelerate much better. And it doesn't take, like, half an hour to fill a train from, for a lot of resources. Hey Meg, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's the eternal cost of the Shadow Realm. Oh no. Alright, let's switch this back on. And then pick this stuff up. Which I I guess we're doing like this. Because if I mark it for decon, it's literally just gonna get deleted. 
It's really just the fancy batteries that I'm more concerned with. Which, come to think of it, a relatively cheap at this point. Oh well. Let's tidy up this mess. It's oddly therapeutic. Picking up most of them by dragging. Alright, and then switch it off again. There's a smiley face on the ground? Was there? Okay, okay, okay. Um, what are we doing next? Good question. Very good question. Hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to do a new build for... Silicon, but I'm afraid this is the only way to make it. Oops. Mm, I hate this. Just like with the centrifuges, the only way we can get a bigger, faster machine to do this, which would be more UPS friendly, is to throw away our productivity bonus. Bonjour. Tin Tinsel. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. I don't speak French, though. Someone want to fill me in on that? Started knack mining yet? No, no. I think we've unlocked the ability to do so, though. Or at least we're able to research it, in theory. Uh, since we don't have the advanced tech cards, let's put that aside for a sec. See if we can research NAC. Find out what we're missing. Oh no, we need material science pack 4 and energy 4. I mean astro 4. What are the other three recipes? Other three recipes. Oh, the other three machines, do you mean? For the, uh... For the silicon? Oh! No, it also uses thermodynamics facility. It does, however, use vulcanite blocks, so no doubt we'll get... Yeah, I... Okay, wow, we can double it per quartz. Uh, multiplied by the productivity bonus. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I just wish we didn't have to use these little slow machines for it. Um, did I shape this to fit a wide beacon later on? I kind of did. Why do we use long arms here? It's one in, one out. Except I... Uh... Ugh... Is this the only way to make quartz? I think it is. Filtration plant. Decontamination facility. So this is the only way with prod modules. I've already got this to fit a beacon. I don't know if it'll fit with uh, high tier modules. With the belts and stuff. But we need to drop off uh, vulcanite blocks as well. So that we can... Put them into the silicon. Alright. 
Let's remove the old stuff. And actually that's kind of gross. And the rest of this block. What do you mean filtration plant is in the way? What? No, it isn't. Oh, I see. Okay. So if we go tier 9 modules... Uh, I said if we go tier 9 modules... That's not going to be the same. We need more speed, I think. Minus 80% still, and plus 600. There we go. And this one's going to be the same, because we've got two prods in these machines as well. So first of all, how much does this demand? Uh, 571 sand per second. That's kind of a lot. That's kind of a lot, a lot. That's more than a purple belt input for each. Hmm. Only space for two modules Dan's game, right? And we can't have bigger, faster machines that also accept prods. Lots of things that involve centrifuges are like this as well. Um, Solid-wise, it's just one in, one out. But again... I can't even support four of these machines on one purple belt. Hmm. Hmm. Our new sand block can do like eight purple belts. We don't, and not that we have the stone to support that at this point. But I don't think we have to go this far. Why don't we just trim it down to support like four? I think I'll just like, well, actually. We could bottleneck on the input sand. But I don't think we need to. 285 per second. It's like a bit more than three belts. That's a lot for the trains to keep up with, especially with a stack size of 200. Actually, maybe that's less difficult. Um... I think I'm trying too hard to maybe preserve the layout that we've got, just so it'll be easy to upgrade. Let's go... let's work from scratch. Yeah, let's... let's go back to basics here. But I might keep that there. Alright, so... Filtration. Quartz. Just double check that's the only way, at least the only way where we can use prods. This would have to be in space. Um, we're going to go prod, prod nines. Let's get our power poles in. 
I think it was five efficiency modules. Negative 80% power. And plus 600. Okay. And we definitely don't have to stress about fitting lots of these because we're going to be limited by belts anyway. So it's one in, one out. Um, hmm. We only need one solid dropped off on this side, so we don't have to worry about, like, balancing it. How did I even fit? Let me have a look at this again. I don't like that. Oh, it's like way over the side. Because this is like specialty build. Where we know what we're putting on the right side. I kind of want to avoid that anyway. We don't even need that many machines here. But perhaps we could... Extend these vertically. And have... Just over three belts of input, so one belt per quarter. How much output? 240. Is a bit less than three belts. So same thing. So if we have input, output, what? Maybe like this? Hold on, I got, I hurt myself in my confusion. Uh, this would go here and here, but not here. This is the personal lab option in the same safe. Yes, with editor extensions mod. How do you get the lab background? It's uh, settings, mod settings, per player tab and testing lab under editor extensions. Noblin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Um, so that's going to go there. Let me just check that lines up the way we think it does. And then same, same, but different down here. Just move that out maybe one tile. Thank you. You're welcome. And one purple belt. Well, this is going to have to move up a bit. Just kind of like that. Oh. Nope, that won't work. I have to move it out one, or maybe I can do it in one. We could definitely do it in one. So that would go here. And that would go here. Wait, that's wrong. Um, so these three go to here. And then... That one obviously can be a little bit different. One. Oh, 
I missed this one somehow. And could we get away with the same kind of thing, but like this? I don't think so. No. But maybe... yes? Wait, what? That shouldn't be here. And then this goes here as well. So they've all got inputs. Let's give it some pipe. How much water do we need? Not much. Check that that's all going where we think it's going. And that we're not having belt throughput issues. What a difficult to follow mess, but we know it's just belts in, belts out, basically. And we could do the same thing on the opposite side. Cool. Alternatively, I could have done some input on this side might have been a bit neater eh, this isn't bad probably fine um, so let's go here here. Seems good. Maybe we should bottleneck on the belts, um, just because saturated belts are more UPS efficient. Then again, I'm pretty sure we're going to bottleneck on... Yeah, we're going to make sure we have a net positive for the, uh, uh, for the quartz as we go and consume it over here. With making it into silicon. But we're going to use the vulcanite block recipe as well. Also, also, let me compare the speed of these two. We've got 60 seconds to consume 18 versus 16 seconds to consume 18. That's a bit slower. We're going to use this one regardless. Now, how do I fit it together? If I cram in as many of these as physically possible, which we might not actually be able to fit. Let's say we do four columns. 
of these. What do we got? 201 silicon per second, and this can produce... Sorry, no. 144 quartz per second, this can produce 240. We only actually need two belts of quartz coming over this way. Um... Hmm. How much do I need per column? And this is... Maximum, like minimum power consumption, but with maximum speed, right? Yes. That's pretty slow or quick, depending on how you look at it, indeed. Um... Oh wow, only two Vulcanite blocks per second. And only 36 uh, quartz per second. It's more than... If I double it, it's more than half of a block of quartz. Otherwise, I could just do half belts. Mm. So I could feed the entire thing with... With two purple belts. And if I split it down to like four half belts... Um, that would work through here. Do you need quartz elsewhere, though? Yes, we do need to export quartz to the rail network as well. Um, so up here is going to be a drop-off for vulcanite blocks. And let's see, Vulcanite block, requester, goes into a sad little electric furnace, no matter how late in the game we are, and out comes silicon. Okay. Maybe I could fit more of these somehow. Let's not worry about how the belts are actually going to fit over here yet. We can use more space away from the beacon. And... Well, how much room do I really have on each side? We could do a shared output belt. Wait, how much is this? A hundred per second. That's annoying. It's slightly more than 90. What about these two? 84 per second? Okay, if we go for that. It's only 30 quarts per second. Still more than half a belt if it's two of these. Hmm... Hmm. It's actually kind of hard to come up with a good layout for this one. What if we do our inputs on this side? And this can be as close as possible. Then that's fifty per second. Yeah, we need we need like a belt for each of them. So basically we'd need four belts of output if I don't wanna bottleneck on that. Or I could just scale it down a little bit. It's probably fine.
And then this can be nice and neat. Ten on each side. Um, maybe I'll leave those inserters as they are. Should I get this game as it, uh, is it the type of game you wake up thinking about? I would say it's the type of game you think about all the time when you're into it. Uh, there's a demo though, you can play that for hours before you make a decision. I would definitely recommend that. Can't justify the price point as it never goes on sale necessarily, but at least it's got a decent sized demo. Do I need a good PC? Not really. Um, it depends how much you scale up. It's actually an incredibly well optimized game. For the most part. Trotsky, welcome in. If I didn't say so before. That was twisty, yeah. Welcome in, Trotsky. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I think it'll run on just about anything. Yeah, it used to run on potatoes compared to what we're running now. Um, I don't know if it might have changed to some extent. Uh, with updates. But Factorio has always been very well optimized. Like, shockingly well optimized. People build very big just because their PC allows them to, I guess, yeah. Alright, so I was thinking... Hmm, how should I go about this? Maybe I'll put in another container might be the way to go. So we'll just have short or long trains can pick this up. Provide stack threshold 100. Don't know if we'll ever have a short train picking up ports, but the option is there. And then... This goes in here. And this goes in here. Probably want to move that to the right, actually. In fact, I definitely want to move that to the right, because I want it to... Normally, I would want it to line up with, like, the middle of this, but in this case, it would be very convenient uh, if the middle of this thing lines up with this container. Right like this. Perfect. Uh, like that. Actually. Whoops. And we'll have some of it go back this way. Actually, undergrounds would be better here. Oh wow, that can go pretty far. And then over here, perhaps. All right, let's do our sand inputs properly. Um. Cheat 
input for test. We only need one solid, so we can just do this. And where do I want the water connection? Like that. How fast does this consume water? 285 per second. I think we can just do it like this. Cool, cool, cool. So then we've got what's coming up here. We'll want to split off from it. And that's probably fine, actually. How much do we need again? 120 per second. So... Between these two is less than one belt. So maybe I'll do it like this. Loop this one back up this way. And we'll have the same thing on the opposite side. I just realized that's going to be, like, opposites. kind of want some symmetry there. Uh, how much... We need almost zero vulcanite per second, right? 6.66666 blocks. So... Let's grab one of these containers, and... Bring it down here. And maybe... Like that. Does that look weird or is that good? I think it's decent. Uh, and when we're looking for vulcanite blocks. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just vulcanite blocks. Now where is the rest of... Where's our sand? Oh, I haven't connected it yet. That would probably help. Wait, where is this going? Oh, over here. Well, there's your problem. Cool, cool, cool. This is a heavily modded save. Indeed it is. How do you win this game? Uh, base game, launch rocket, yes. Is that fast enough? 45 items on half belt, so 90 out of 120. Hold on. 60 per second. Oh, yeah, you're right. God damn it. Thought I was finished. Yeah, we do actually need a splitter here. And... to kind of redo this whole thing. So yeah, this will go down this way. We got that loop back. Um, 
So just like this. Unless? Nope, no unless. Come to think of it, we don't have to like merge and split these things. So this could just go over here. This could go over here. Doesn't really matter where we put these things. Could move them down a bit. Um, and this one? This one I want here. So what if... Maybe... Oh. What if we move these down a little bit? And then we can not fit this after all. Uh, unless we do it like that. Wait, no. No! It's all falling apart. Uh... I don't love that, but it's not too bad. It's actually kind of cozy. And then maybe like this. How do we end up with one, two? Oh, this goes here. That makes sense. I was going to say, how did we end up with three of these? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think we can do this with only two outputs for the bulk, uh, for the vulcanite blocks, right? Surely. But how? Like that? That might look better in the end. So then this goes here. And can we do the same thing? Like this. Kind of? That looks kind of weird. But it works, I guess. Couldn't I move this over this way somehow? Uh, yes, but also no. Can I move that down one tile? I can move this down three tiles. That could probably work. And then 
these two go here? Maybe? How does this line up? I can actually put this more or less wherever I want. Why have I moved this over here? What am I even doing? That looks kind of cool, actually. I like that. But let's move it down two tiles. Thank you. All right, so where's our... All right, right, right. Move all of this down. Yeah, I like that. Not going to get much neater than that. I think. And the positioning of the different items is symmetrical. How fast do we make things here? 168 per second. Uh, can I move this over a little bit? I could, but yeah, it's fine. And limit that one to Thirty stacks. And short trains allowed. Because why not? Alright, so how fast is this again? 168 per second, which is less than two purple belts. And I could have made it faster than two purple belts, but I didn't feel like it. This is probably more than enough. Alright then. Let's remove our cheat inputs and make sure the wires are connected. Uh, some of this can go up here, so LTN shouldn't be told about it. That's fine. I don't mind having a big store of quads. And this is all the same as it was before, basically. Uh, 40,000? So two train loads of sand, maybe even more. So that it can schedule multiple trains to deliver at the same time. Seafacat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How's the stream today? Let's blueprint this thing. Um, we're not really using any advanced plants. 
So what should I call it? I'm going to call it advanced anyway. Um, what's... Still, it kind of... This is probably going to be the last build that we make for these. Now then, uh, train stop names, yes. We've removed all the cheat items. I'm going to remove the modules. What? Quartz and silicon. There we go. And that probably goes up here somewhere. Not sure where. I need to be more organized. It's not really oil products, is it? Components? Oh, here it is. Basic quartz and silicon. Uh, we're kind of out of room up there. Oh, no. Let's upgrade. Oh, perfect. It's empty at the moment. Let's -a go. Don't know if I'm going to put prod sixes in this thing at this point. Where am I going? Over here. I was kind of afraid of that. <laughs> well, train's going to be lending us a hand, I guess. Please empty the quartz. Not this. Let's grab our blueprint, advanced quartz and silicon. Might help if we had room for our bulk rail unloaders. Actually, do we have... Well, we might have to make two trips for the belts anyway. Whether or not we've got the filtration plants handy. They should all be in this robot network, actually. Where's our unfiltered store? Holy crap. Uh, that's actually a lot of random stuff that we need to get back to the mall. Not all of it, though. Thanks, Veldak. Rimworld. Alright, give me all that quartz back. Beacons, filtration machines. I have no inventory space and I must scream. Oh. Already got it done. We just need more purple belt. Should I use the higher tier prods here? It does consume sand, and we don't need that many prods. And sand is, weirdly enough, one of our more precious resources. It's probably the most precious. Um, yeah, hence the prod sixes over here. Stone is actually probably the most precious basic resource that we've got um, this playthrough. Everything else has been easy. Is this actually the last of my prod sixes, though? I don't think I've reactivated this build yet. 
Oh, I have. That's even worse. We got another 36 prods here, actually. Would it be worth it to prod six the silicon? I don't think so. I have... Here we go. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Not this one. Not this one. No. Um, actually, maybe this has the right requests in it. 11 and 4. Negative 80%. Negative 80%. Negative 50%. Cool, cool, cool. And some tier 6s in here. Negative 80. Negative 80. Oh, I think it was actually like 5 efficiencies, wasn't it? Plus 280. Oh yeah, I was looking at tier 9 modules. So this is negative 20% power consumption. What kind of ratios are we looking at? Net positive on quartz. That seems fine. Now... I haven't actually got any vulcanite blocks being delivered, which... Uh, Previously, we've been able to take for granted for a very long time. There's no crushed vulcanite. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's a lot of core fragments. I don't know why you're not dropping off at the other... Oh, right, you have a vanilla schedule. I have an update... Ah, uh, there we go. I haven't updated the Vulcanite core fragments. In fact, I'm not entirely sure how this train is delivering to here instead of to here. Hmm... I think we need to update the Vulcanite core fragment processing. Does the Vulcanite itself have a stack size of 20? It does. I, I guess I could do a 2-in-1 build if we ratio it for tier 9s. Are we actually moving all of our Vulcanite core fragments at the moment? Oh, there goes Hall of 13 now. With Vulcanite core fragments. Llama Boy, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? We definitely need more spaceships. Pretty sure we need more spaceships. Uh, why do we have this many stuck at Egan Orbit? You're waiting to drop off Holmanite. Okay, let's check which ones of these are saturated. Uh, Vol Vidomelange is not saturated. A ship could land here right now. Uh, Iridite is. Holmanite is. Uh, what's this? Beryl is not. And 
Everdite, uh, Emersite Cave is not. Stone is not. Alright, so what have we got here? Holmium? Uh, more Holmium? Even more Holmium. Even more Holmium. And... Even more Holmium. Okay then. It was fun playing T-Mod, but with several painful difficulties on all at once. Wait, what were you playing? Is that uh, Terraria? T-Mod loader, yes. I think you need to use more Holmium. I mean, I think it was just one of those bursts of multi- holy crap was saturated on Holmanite. Um... Okay then. But this is not saturated, so where's the bottleneck? I've I've got a little reminder to myself here to upgrade this, but uh it's not what we need to focus on right now. Holmium powder Wait, Holmium powder is full here. No, it's not quite. It is not quite full. Okay. So what's missing? Crushed Holmanite. Where do we make the crushed Holmanite? Huh? Oh, you're joking. There's a traffic jam at our Holmium storage. How long has this been going on? Where are you trying to go? He can't drop off the Holmium? Okay, but why can't these guys come in? Uh... They're all trying to drop off the whole map. Holy crap. Does that mean... Don't tell me. No? Are we not crushing it fast enough? We've got idle crushes on this side. Hmm. Where's our, like, crusher train? It's sitting idle. Destination full. I don't think I've configured the, uh... Train limit zero. Oh, it's because the stack size is 20. Okay, how much have we got here? 6.4 times 2. Uh, 12.8k. Well, there's your problem. There's your problem. I haven't been crushing the Holmanite because I forgot to reconfigure this because it has a different stack size. We're actually bringing in too much Holmium. And now we have to ditch some of it to keep everything moving. And I don't see how our train is going to get there while this guy's in the way. Is this the... Well, that's one train trying to pick it up. Cool. At this rate, we're just going to pick them all up. Actually, that train probably went back. Because this was no longer full. Yeah. Now it's trying to come back here. Train limit 2195? What do you mean? Oh, because this has a memory cell. I remember. I made it so that it wouldn't, like, forget that a train is allowed to come pick up from here. 
That's fine. We're going to delete one trainload of Holmanite to get everything moving again. What about the other side? Uh, barrel is stack size 50. That one's already correct. And these two we haven't actually configured yet. Uh, do you, did you mean over here? I think that was just traffic. Okay. Enabled if everything equals zero. I remember now, there's only one train making the rounds of this stuff. The crushers are actually quite slow. Alright, so now we have Crushed Hormonite, fantastic. Which means we have Holmium Powder, which means we have Molten Holmium, which means we have Holmium Ingots. Cool, cool, cool. Maybe I should take this opportunity to upgrade the Holmium ingots. Uh, let's see. I think we already did the blueprint for it, right? Advanced Molten Holmium. Looks like... We're moving... These containers. Do we have to? Maybe. All of this is basically empty, right? Except for the sand. Let's go back to the mall for a sec. Hold on. Shift C. Ugh, I need to fix Vulcanite. That's really concerning. There's lots of stuff that depends on Vulcanite. Start picking up my stuff. I need red belt now. It's probably fine for now. Personal logistics is off? Yeah, it's... The bots tend to bring me too much. It's, it's kind of more of a pain to keep changing it. Okay. Uh, where are we going? To upgrade the Holmium build. Oh, this doesn't have... Yes, it does. Why are our logi bots all over the place? What not what more to the point they're not all over the place. They're treating this as the highest possible priority. Maybe because the re request is set to 10k. So once the train leaves, they'll do other things. I guess. Oh, I should upgrade my um Nope, 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 not, we're not getting distracted. Um, let's go... Let's borrow this guy. Head over here. Hold on, did I bring... 170 spaceship floor, I think we need more than that. Why are you in space? I thought I sent you... 
to the mall taxi stop downstairs. Oh, I should have just put the spaceship floor in it. Doesn't mind. Here it comes. I should probably be making more spaceships to... Wait, where are you going? Oh, that's why it's looping. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Don't crash. Okay. Up the elevator. I guess I didn't need to stop it after all. Pretty sure this design involves spaceship floor, right? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we'll take one train load down for later. <laughs> Um, but yeah, are we moving Vulcanite fast enough with the spaceships? Maybe. How many trains do I have moving it? Don't tell me the answer is zero. No, 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 I had to... God damn it, I forgot already. I need to put the train limits on the Vulcan... Vulcanite core fragment drop-offs. Construction plane, uh, train rather, if you please. And by the time I look again, those will be there. How much can we move? 50 times 100. 500 spaceship floor at a time. Speaking of spaceships, I think another one wouldn't be the worst idea. We may as well keep going with the spaceship spam and still, and, and still, until we can get the higher tier spaceships. That's what it's going to take to keep up with our outposts. Probably. Construction bots seem to be busy. I guess we'll come back to that. You know what? This is fine for now. Just go. Zonia, Kandar Jr., Verio, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now, how do I make Power Armor Mark 4? 10 AI cores, 30 quantum processors. And heavy composite, and the rest I can get on the ground. Okay, then. Let's grab our deconstruction train. Wait here. And four. four. Uh... And I want to make sure I deconstruct these in order so I don't delete Holmium. I guess it's not that important. Then again, 250 makes an ingot. Yeah, let's be careful here. So we're only removing... Um, Well, let's get rid of all the inserters first. But we're only going to remove the 
fluid container that's at the edge of the network. Oh no, I already messed it up. No. No. Oh. I thought this went down somewhere. I think we need to that. Wait, can I not can I just not pick a dollies this? Uh okay then. Do we have some pipe handy? No. Hmm. How many did I pick up? Eleven. Okay. I think I messed up again because... There wasn't enough storage in a couple of these because the recipe wasn't set. Get rid of the insertions. May as well get rid of the belts. Turn these off, I already did. Yeah, that would have been easier. can go like this. Once the bots catch up a bit more. Oh no. Actually, I don't know if that... I don't know if we're wasting ingots or not by interrupting the recipes. Hmm. Well, I don't want to wait that long. Especially knowing that we're... we've got so much holmium that we're deleting it. Because it all came in at once. And we don't want to stop the flow of other products from the core fragments. If we're working off of re uh, infinite resources, time is our actual resource. I think we want to push it all up here, right? Let me get over there. Let's look at that blueprint again. Is this really okay with the fluid drop-off? Let's have a look. Wait, did I build this yet? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. That's a lot of quartz. And that's uh, an amount of silicon. And we got the Vulcanite blocks, thank goodness. Cool, cool, cool. Now then. Mm 
Vario, welcome in, if I didn't say so. Oh, that was 12 minutes ago. Oops. Okay. Blueprint. King Holmium. Uh, should I go high tier prods? That's a lot. I think I did the math on high tier prods for this. Two. That's a lot of input fluid. 7.68 thousand per second. Oh, sorry, that's the output. Wait, what are we dropping off? Ah, oh, we're dropping off pyroflux, which is always slow. Cool, cool, cool. And we're only outputting fluid, and the input belt is too slow. For that version. 384 volume powder per second. Um, that's kind of a problem. How fast is it with the tier 3s? It's only 76 per second. Alright, fine. I'm, I'm not going to redesign it right now. Oh, I was looking at the wrong blueprint. We've already got this over here. Good, good job. Um, do we have, I think we have an updated blueprint for Holmium ingots. We don't? Oh. Did we do any of the other... No, I think it was just Iridium Ingot. That's right, I remember we designed Iridium Ingots with the Thermo facilities, and then realized that Iridium Ingots is one of the few ones where we can have prod bonuses. Not sure if it's just me, aren't you swapping? Yes, yes indeed. Okay. Um, so this actually is the design where we need some spaceship floor. Do I have... Did I keep that Iridium ingot? That silly build? Because I definitely like to use it as a guide. Doesn't seem like I did. Whoops. Alright, well, it's not going to be that complicated. We're going to use a thermodynamics facility. We're going to set it to Holmium Ingot. Um, we're going to use this on the ground because it's much faster than a casting machine. And neither of them can use productivity modules. So we're just going to design this on the ground as if we could put thermodynamics facilities there in the first place. And then put some spaceship floor underneath it. Let's see... Oh wait, this is just going to have speed modules, isn't it? Uh, 
that's still plus 400% power. Wait, do these consume more power than rods? Energy consumption plus 400, energy consumption plus 200, they do. Huh. Well, they're 33 kilowatts each now, apart from a 10 megawatt beacon. So I'm wondering if we can fit this much. Uh, it's one solid, one fluid in, and one solid out. What have we got per column? Oh, that's super slow. Even with tier 9 module. Wait, give it power. That might be the reason. Should have power. Uh, let's see. One column. No, nope, that's still pretty slow. 17... 0.2 sand per second, 0.3 sand per second, and less than 9 ingots per second. The whole block uses less than 70 sand per second. We can one belt it if we so desire. Um, and the pipes, of course. Well, actually, the molten holmium is by far... Ah, oh, the biggest problem. 2.16 thousand times 4? 8.64 thousand per second. Uh... 8640 divided by... Oh, let's put it another way. 60,000 over 8640. Uh, is 6.94. For every train load, we get 6.94 seconds of operation. Uh, yeah, I think we would probably need, um... We, we would probably need, like, blocks that produce the molten holmium right next to... Like, on either side, probably, of the ingot block. So I should put this here, really. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. How fast is it with tier 3s? Wait, so let me just double check and remind myself of this. Fluids? Ridiculously fast. Um, even if I use steel pipe... I could do, like, space pipe. So there's one section of pipe next to each machine. Then we'd need, like, much more space on the sides for the solid input-output. Uh... But yeah, the thing I was trying to figure out, apart from the fluid being ridiculously fast, the solids are fine. Even if we do a double block. How fast does it go with tier 3s? Uh, let's see. Plus 110, minus 70%. Alright, cool. How would this look? See, that's more reasonable for the moment. 3.2 thousand uh, molten holmium per second. And we're going to use purple belts. 
So I would need input and output. Unless I want to do like a half belt input, half belt output. Which I could, but it's going to always leave a little bit of the input stuck on the belt forever. Which I don't like. Alternatively, I could just... Not care too much about, like, underutilizing one beacon and have plenty of room for the belts. Yeah, I feel like even if we do have other blocks feeding fluid directly to it, it would be a lot easier if we spread this out a bit, if we go that crazy. Alright, so... input... output... very straightforward... Sand and molten holmium dropped off. How fast do we go through the sand? Hardly at all. Okay. It's mostly the fluid. And there's only one solid, so we don't have to worry about balancing it. Um... I could, in fact, make sure we've got twice as many pumps as usual to take from the wagons. Uh, except... Well, maybe that's not such a bad idea. This would go here. And this would go here. Maybe like that. It's kind of weird how the belt goes backward like that, but that's pretty neat. It's very neat, actually. Um, I would like to move this closer to the center, though. And this one's not going to be quite symmetrical. It's going to be one, one longer. Uh, and we do need... Oh, I know what I can try and squeeze under the beacons instead. Converting to plate. Uh, advanced assembly machine. What if I put those right next to here? On, on, on either side of the... Okay, again, I want to ratio this for tier 9s to begin with. Uh, give me some more. Minus 80%. Wait, that's too many. 
Minus 80%, plus 400%. Okay, how fast is this? That's 2k per second, which is getting to be a little bit much uh, to pump the fluid through. In fact, I'm thinking of rotating this around. So we can conveniently fit a pump like so. Let me just check. That that's going to be able to pump the fluid fast enough. Call me, um, Molten Hobby. I'll give it some input. Why are we... oh. That would probably help. Does the machine at the end get Molten Holmium? As the fluid level rises, it should pump faster. We need 2 point something K, 2.16 thousand. We're getting like 1400. That's closer. In fact, that seems to work. But then we're not deleting the output. Time to grab a drink. Okay, so clearly that's not working. Maybe I'll have different lines of pipe instead. Okay, what if... What if we put these two like so? The four of these would need 1.44k. Um, bring these over this way as well. But... That doesn't go as far as I thought. Huh. How about like this? Actually, that's going to touch in the middle, isn't it? Is that a problem? Maybe not. Maybe not. I can't copy-paste flip this, can I? There we go. Also, that's in the way. Do I even have room to do that on both sides? Possibly not. Oh, I know. Yeah, that might work.
Okay. There's kind of just enough room. Apparently. What I'm thinking of. This would have to go over here. This goes up this way, and this goes over here. Might be okay. Now, how fast do we convert the plate? Probably more than fast enough. Probably a lot more than fast enough. Good. So how many of these do we need? If we want to convert all ingots to plate, uh, we need to consume 8.6 per sec. We only need one? Huh. Wasn't quite expecting that. But I do have to put it to the side unless I'm going to move the thermodynamics facilities. Could allow at least some of the ingots to just go to ingots. Alright, I need to know if Holmium, Molten Holmium can actually move through these pipes fast enough. Which I, I think they probably can, because we only need like uh, 720 per pipe, per separate pipe that comes out of these, that is. A second. I could move this two tiles in. Let's just test this first. We need to delete all the ingots that come out. Oh, I forgot. I wanted to... I wanted to take from here and put back onto this side. Okay. So you should be able to consume... All those ingots, yes you can. And does this keep going at full speed? It looks like the answer's yes. Very good to me. Alright. Let's say we do... First of all, we're going to need some loaders for each. Could I redesign the layout a bit? And get kind of a nicer layout for the... Plate machines. Oh, 
really. Well, that seems pretty good, honestly. That goes here. And we could do the exact same... Drop off. Bernard... Bernardia? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And just do test inputs on this side as well. We already got that, actually. Alright, so we want ingots on this side, plate on this side. Um, I'll probably just copy this stuff for now. We need to train limit the ingots because we're sending them up to space. Except I don't want to make that mistake I made earlier. Um, if whole meme ingot... Oh wait, I already set it up this way. If whole meme ingot is greater than 5k, if train limit is whatever whole meme ingot is, which in other words is practically infinite. Because we don't want a train limit of 1 so that like an LTN train parks here and then isn't allowed to actually pick up. While a vanilla train is trying to pick up the ingots, waiting its turn. Um, if I do do it this way... Wait, what's the total output for the whole thing? In ingots, it's less than half a belt. Uh, if we convert all the ingots to plate, that doesn't have productivity bonuses. So 17.2 times 10, right? Oh, that's... um. Wow. Maybe I won't share the output belt. Seven hundred twenty, no seventy two. Yeah, I think I'll just. Just belt these over to the left. How fast can we get plate out of this? 340 per second. Stack size is 100. 3.4 stacks per second. So it would take like 33 seconds. Yeah, just under 30 seconds to fill a train load. I think we'll do it this way. Why don't I push this down a bit? Oh, that's convenient enough. Then these two are struggling a bit. Can I push them down one more tile? I can. Which means they're going to be stealing almost all of the ingots, but that's probably fine. So instead of stealing ingots that we've already got down here, we're going to take them on the way and put them into play. 
And we're not gonna try too hard to balance them. Just put a small limit on the whole main plate. Alternatively, I could make it so that if we have a lot of ingots, we could send them to become plate. It's just going to turn into a little bit of spaghetti. Now we'll see how this goes. It's not what I want to be saying for what is supposed to be a final build. But it's gonna take some experimentation. See how these ideas flesh out. Alright, so... We need that to go even further down, actually what I had in mind. Oh, there's not room here anyway. Never mind. Well, this will fit pretty well. good. And then the actual ingots. Uh, we can probably do it this, this way. Oh, wait. That's right. I wanted to test... just how fast these things can handle input. Well, we're not actually going to have four belts. We might. Let's try it. I definitely want to do this for the ingots. Down here. What am I doing? seems decent. So how long would it take to get, not that long, uh, to get a train load of ingots? Uh, only 72.3 seconds. Still, that's more than enough that uh, 1.4 train loads is enough storage. And I don't think it's really going to work out that well for Holmium plates. Let's do some science. So I want to delete everything. Oh, 
Well, I don't think we have to worry so much about the ingots, but let's do that. Is this not moving? Oh, well there's your problem. Uh, I'm noticing that the plate machine is having a lot of downtime, partly just because of the way the inserter behaves. So maybe we should use a loader for that. Fifty-fifty? Until ingots back up? That seems pretty good to me. That seems very good, actually. I don't know if the items dropped here by this inserter would be 50-50. And these would also go straight to ingots every time. It's probably fine. Uh, and it looks like... Looks like our built-in inserters can keep up with that very easily. So if we limit each of these to one wagon... And get rid of the item deletion... Thinking we've probably got enough plate storage. So that it won't back up before a train gets here. If there's a constant demand for plates. Let me just fill this with plates. Because I want to see... Oh, how quickly this part fills up once they're full. Not that quickly. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay. Uh, maybe I want to reshape some of this, though. That actually looks fairly tidy. Alternatively... This one here, and this one here? Wait, what? No. I can't do the same thing on this side. Okay, fine. Where is this going again? Hmm. 
One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, let me just remove everything to make sure that's all working. Looks like the answer is yes. Cool, cool, cool. These can actually do two belts of holmium plate, uh, but normally they wouldn't have accumulated holmium ingots. Yeah, that's fine. Right, that's pretty good, I think. Pretty tidy. Only 12 machines, not counting these. So 14 machines on each side. You know, this picks up the items so quickly, we don't even need that wire. And now we need the floor. Let's start with our Black Reinforced, which for some reason is not getting placed. There we go. And then we need some Spaceship Floor. 55, good to see you again. Well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. 7x7, uh, seven seven and just drag it down like this. And up here. And I kind of feel like putting some other types of concrete here. The look of it. What about the white plate? Around the edge. Well, that actually looks surprisingly decent. Looks like it fits. I'm hoping we find something that looks good without hazard concrete, just because I would have to go out of my way to get it. Oh my goodness. Eagle Wolf, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Thank you so much. Hope you like it, uh, 55. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, what? Black refined concrete? Alien biome space exploration post process. I don't think we can actually make those. Huh. Alright. Uh, concrete. Refined concrete. I actually think that looks better than the light plating. Sub-hype indeed. Much appreciated. And if nothing else, this will make it really clear. Whoops. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Um, this will make it really clear where we need to put our spaceship floor. There we go. And maybe while I'm at it... Nope, that's actually... It's actually not looking so great. Hmm. Waiting. 
Alright. Let's blueprint this thing. Uh, first of all, I need some requester chests. Or requester train stops. And this will just be... As you were. Then green wire like so. That seems awful inconsistent. Oh, good enough. Alright, so this is sand, and Molten Holmium Cluster, going into Thermodynamics Facilities, and out comes Ingot and Plate. Or Plate and Ingot. We're looking for lots and lots of thermofluid. Let's allow it to balance on both sides. And maybe even... No, that's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? And then, Molten Holmium, we can fit like 600k on each side in theory. And Sand uh, is pretty slow, so we'll probably just request a train load and a half. That should be fine. Long trains only. Copy paste over here. And then we have signals like so. And that should be our build. Alright, let's remove the speed knives. Speed 3s will be more than enough at this stage of the game. It's actually going to be a little bit of pain because of all the different orientations of the machines. Where are my speed 3s? Minus 70% power consumption. Fantastic. That looks right. Why you gotta do me like that? It's fine. Blueprint. Ingot, Thermo, Advanced, Olmi, um, Ingot. We got to remove the cheat items first. Now I have to do this part again. Oh, and we do need to include tiles. Very important this time. How many spaceship floor do we need? 1.1k! Ouchie. 
Alright. I think that's it though. If I throw this blueprint down here now, it does put the spaceship floor here. Fantastic. How much do I have in the mall? 3k, surprisingly enough. Uh, cool, cool. I need to get it over here, though. 22 stacks. I could probably just carry it myself. And then I need to go get thermo facilities. Alright. What are you? The decon train. Give me all your sand. Oh, the old blue belt is still there. You also give me your sand. Oh, and here comes the thermofluid. I guess that's not surprising. I forgot to take the tier 9 speeds out of these things. Also forgot to remove these old things first. Probably all right. Let's move these guys out of the way. Not pick up all these pieces of floor, right? No. Uh, refined concrete, you say? Let's bring some of it over. We don't need much. Construction train, make some laps, get the rest of the purple belt. Decon train, take me home. And I'll go pick up... Oops. Some spaceship floor. Fifty times fifty is two point five K. We only need like one point one K. Five hundred thousand that should be more than enough. Now bring all of it. And then take me upstairs to get the Thermo facilities. They're taking their sweet time on this. Maybe I'll just go upstairs now. That'll include picking up some more spaceship floor from upstairs. Probably more than we need. Well, I'm gonna make like at least barrel and uh, one other one. Oh, there's also gonna be iron and copper and steel to smelt ingots using the thermo facilities. So we will eventually need a fair few thousand. Uh, spaceship floor on the ground. It's probably fine. 
So I need like 24 thermo facilities, right? Precisely. There we go. And back we go. No need to press the buttons. Is that battery charge? Oh, it's not even night time. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we can probably stop with that now. Now let's go park over here. Very good. There's going to be a lot of catching up to do with our hol Molten Holmium by the time we build this, and then we're going to catch up very, very quickly. Alright, and then we place the blueprint once more. Double check that the wiring is good. That's fine. And that's fine. And look at it go. Let's see our graph. Ingot. Holmium. Yep. That is... That is a line, all right. And it did, in fact, go up. Uh, I forgot to update this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. There we go. We almost... We have a trainload of Holmium ingots already? How much was here before? Uh, I'm not sure. Is this busted? Ye yeah, I think this was here before. And our chest is missing. And now everything works. Not quite. There we go. Oh, and I was going to do the same thing over here. Perfect. And that actually drains much faster than the belts bring it in. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Fixed, indeed. Zethrus, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Okay. Hopefully that'll solve our Holmium problems. Uh, we've obviously had... Quite a lot of Holmonite for a while. Have we been processing it over here fast enough? How many prods do we have to play with? Tier 6s. Another 76, plus 6, uh, so 84, 
How many would it take to prod all this? 48 times 4. Almost 200. Not quite there yet. I could speed it up though. Um, we've got a lot more speeds and efficiencies. How about I prod like one of these? Just so I can see how many of these we need. Uh, let's see. Minus 80% power. Minus 80. Minus 80. Minus 40. And the tier 3s are all still minus 80. Uh, I'm not... I'm, I'm more concerned with speed than productivity bonus with Holmanite at this stage. Well, especially for the builds that need more prod modules. Um, but we're probably... Uh, we're probably going to be bottlenecked on the belts now. How much stone are we looking at? 95? We're even going to bottleneck on the stone with one belt. Um, 380 crushed per second. Okay. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're very bottlenecked on the on the belts right now. All right, well, I'm going to do the quick fix of just making all of these purple belts. We're still going to bottleneck on the belts, but not as severely. And I don't know if we need to... I wouldn't be surprised if we can't fit this many machines in a block if they're all tier 9 prods. But let's get the fi uh, quick fix done first. Alright, uh, I'm going to put an extra bot in just so it will reset everything. Looks like it already had one. Go back and then come back here after you reload. Cool, cool, cool. I haven't even fixed all the bottlenecks here, and there's already this much just after the train has left. Oh, I probably shouldn't. Oh no. Why does it change paths so often? I wonder if you could tweak the game to adjust train paths less often for UPS. Now, let me grab this whole thing, drop it into the editor. I did blueprint this. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, I left the spaceship floor here. Right. So if we go for... Let's just test it for tier 9s. I was going to say... Tier 6, but we may as well future-proof it if we're going to the trouble. Oh, 
plus 300%. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to have to completely reshape it. Or trim down the number of machines. Less than one purple belt of stone. Uh, four belts of... Honey? Four belts of... Uh, crushed Holmanite. And that's coming out of each half of the block. Input per column is a little bit less than a purple belt. But we've got these ones sharing. Yeah, we definitely have to reduce our count. Which is probably fine. What about tier 6s all the way? I'm curious how worth my while it is to... ...update this already. I did go, um... It's a weird shape. I did cram a lot of these in a one block. It's no wonder. Can't remember how many efficiencies and speeds we need. Probably f five efficiencies. Nope, that's plus 560. I was thinking of the, the ones with only two prod modules in them. Plus 260, minus 40. There we go. So, for half a block. Uh, two belts of crushed hominite out. We could probably make that work, right? Yeah, we could adapt that pretty easily. Um, wait, I don't think we actually need more... Oh, wait, what? Where is this going? This goes through here, and then into the container. Both of these go into that container. And this goes in. It's actually three belts. Oh. Hmm. But we need two whole belts for output for the whole million, for the crushed whole night. Uh, I guess it's going to be even worse with tier three prods in there. Not that much worse, actually. Alright, I'm just going to ignore that for now. Unless it severely bottlenecks us. Where's our train? Oh, it already finished making laps. Let's make sure. It's actually a lot of purple belt to replace. Uh, come to think of it, I don't think a blue 
inserter can output that much either. Don't tell me we're out of purple belt. Uh, we kind of are. Do I have any upstairs? I don't think so. We have 172. I don't think we're making it here. Or at least... No, we're not. Are we out of inputs for the purple belts? Or just the purple belts? We're out of heavy bearing. Ouch. Ouchie. Ouch. Oof. Owie. Hmm. Is there something? I forgot to fix Vulcanite. Uh, if Vulcanite is greater than like 5k... Output all night. Wait, no. If it's less than train limit one, that's what we're after. And then set train limit. All night call frame. about to grab that train manually, but sorted itself out. I think we've got four trains dropping off Vulcanite Color Fragments. So yeah, that'll probably help quite a bit. How many would I need? 26... Uh, I would need 104 prods to upgrade one of them. We've got 91 over here, and I'm carrying 6. We're actually very close. Okay then. How's Holmium? Looking good so far. How many ingots do we have in space? Uh, more than zero. Something. Almost ready to trigger a train delivery. We're actually bottlenecked on... Or at least temporarily bottlenecked on converting to plate here. I do have an updated blueprint for this. It's just going to be a pain to... Move all the stuff around to update it. How about our ships and drop-offs? Let's see. Stone is empty. Where's our stone outpost? Uh, why do you have Holmanite? How long has this been here? It could be a problem I've actually already fixed.
Once the ship launches, I'll switch this back. Oh, and the outpost never requests a ship as long as there's one already here. So it could have... <gasps> uh, it's actually run out of spell evader cables. Oh, no. That actually might have happened ages ago. I haven't noticed. One job? Actually, I have so many jobs. I'm trying to manage this factory. Well, it'll be at Bow and Estra in seven minutes or so. Which means it'll be back at Hagen Orbit in about 14, 15 minutes. And then we'll get stone core fragments dropped off here. Some Holmanite core fragments will be thrown back into the mall. Um, and presumably we'll get significantly more stone again. Uh, Alright, what about Vulcanite? Iron Hauler 3 seems to be hovering. This guy's launching. Fantastic. Very good. Alright, we got two spaceships of Vulcanite coming quite soon. Um... Emersite cave core fragments are obviously moving. Vitamelange? No, that's Beryl. Is there a problem with Beryl? Not judging by the fact that there's motion here. What about Spiriso orbit? Same thing. That's probably why we've been short on Beryl this whole time. Same th problem as the stone. Well, or rather the, the previous problem that we had where they kept going to get Holmanite. Um, and I just didn't get around to fixing them yet. I didn't notice there was a problem with this ship in particular. Holmanite drop-off has not had a problem for a while, I think. Vitamelange, no, Iridite drop-off is saturated as. Which makes it weird that we're short on Iridium. Vitamelange is doing very well, and this is the recycle drop-off. Uh, it's supposed to catch exceptions when the ships launch with a rare bug. Um, but unfortunately, it sort of has to double as a default drop-off, so there's like one ship occupying it all the time. Um, I guess in the end I should have done multi-drop-offs as standard to begin with. Why do we have so much spell evader? Holy... That's, that's a lot of spell evader traffic. Elevated cables are still saturated. Um, are we getting to the point where we like need a second spell evader? And if so, where would I put it? It's obviously not really a problem to build another one. We have to pay double the upkeep, but that's not really an issue at this stage. Hmm. I, I guess I could put it over here. Maybe even a bit further. Near all of the vanilla depots. 
the trains that have to go through the spellivators most often. One, two, three, four, five. So at least five blocks to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's kind of lucky. I guess technically I could always remove a spell evader. It's not stuck there forever. It's not like we're going to redesign the whole base, though. Well, the traffic's empty on this side now, so I guess... Alright, I don't think we need another spell evader just yet, but it's something to consider. I'm thinking probably like over here, or even here. Alright, so what's next? It's actually a pretty good question. That's an easy answer. We have no purple belt. That's not an easy answer. That's why. Um, are we having trouble getting Iridium? Blast cake. Powder. Nitric acid? Oh no. That's an unexpected bottleneck shift. Ammonia. Uh, hy hydrogen? None? We're picking up hydrogen right now. We should probably put some more pumps here. Does the construction train at least have pumps? It does. How fast do we make the hydrogen? Only 120 per second. Oh, it's empty. Oh, the pumps are already there because... Because the train block here stole them. Um, so we're actually bottlenecked on hydrogen. How much do we need here? In theory, 336, and that's just this block. Although, I don't know where else we're consuming it. Okay, uh, can we fit a beacon? We're one tile off covering all of those with one beacon. That's unfortunate. But yeah, we could obviously make this go faster. Second spell evader has to be placed somewhere east, somewhere symmetrical. It has to be six, because there's a chance you might need three spell evader and fifth place to left is occupied, but sixth is empty. I don't understand. We finished thruster suit. Mark 3. Uh, that's exciting. What do we need? A couple of tier 3, a couple of tier 1 catalogs. Thruster suit Mark 2. A single aeroframe bulkhead, one stack of superconductive cable, processing units, and solid rocket fuel. That's actually pretty easy. Let's get hydrogen fixed first, and then we'll grab it. Going to play with the new suits, indeed. Um, uh, I just need some speed modules and stuff, right? With hydrogen. Might have to make a new layout for this, hopefully not. Is this the only way to do hydrogen from water set? Hydrogen. We can get it from barrels, we can get it from... as a byproduct when we're making chlorine. And we can get it from electrolysis plants, as we're doing here. 
I don't think we could make a tighter design for this many electrolysis plants because of the way the fluid outputs are done. I guess I could do them in rows and have water on one side. How much water do we need here? A lot. Well, kind of a lot. 1.25k. I definitely want it close to the ocean. Maybe I should do like a hydrogen build up here. For the moment, let's just put a beacon up this way. Uh, we'll take all these efficiency modules out. It might end up being too much water for the pipes. Well, we'll soon find out. We can't prod this, right? No. Let's just go tier threes for now. Let's see how that looks. Minus 50% power. How much water does it consume? Uh, only 468? I thought we needed like 1.2k to begin with. Where did I... How did I get that idea? Well, 468 is almost nothing in terms of pipe throughput. So these are all working now. Uh, what is this? Spaceship 46? Spaceship 30, one entity is destroyed. Oh, no. Which one is Spaceship 30? Automation signal 29. Am I going to have to click through all of them? Probably. I can't remember if there's a way to find them by ID. There it is. Iron Hauler 10. It got owned! In single density... In, in minimum... What? What the... Okay, that is the last place I expected it to be. Iron Hauler 10 got owned by... Medias... In minimum media density, with electricity, with solar power, and with heat to make steam. Um, can't say I expected that one. Alright, how much hydrogen is this? 312 per second, and this thing over here. We need to update this build. Let me put a little marker... Uh, 336, so a slightly negative on hydrogen. That will probably be enough ammonia to give us the nitric acid that we need. Let's see, 416, so it's going to be more like 380 or so. And... This requires only 192 per second. Alright. So that should sort itself out. Let's go save that spaceship. David vs. Goliath? No power? It's got plenty of power. It's got solar panel power, and it's got uh, heat well beyond 415 degrees. Um... Uh, so it's got steam, yeah, and the and the accumulator charge is full. It had everything. Uh, 
hundreds of hours of our spaceships flying around and one of them gets owned under perfect conditions. It was number 10, right? Yep. Oh, I need spaceship floor. Can I request it over here? Or have I already done that? But spaceship wall, rather. We do have some. Not sure why I only have 10. Are we having trouble with that? Oh. Apparently we had 200... Uh, 300 spaceship wall. Was I just not requesting enough? Has there been any news on the update coming to the base game? Not to my knowledge. There we go. Where's my mouse pointer? There we go. Aeroframe bulkhead is probably the toughest thing to... Yeah. I think we stopped having problems with aeroframe bulkheads a while... No, it needs a Mercian plate. Oh. Uh, I probably should... Wait, no, I already did. Find a Mercian plate. Yeah, we are using the version with rare metals. Uh, that was not full. Got it stopped. Yeah, we are are using the version with rare metals to make uh, to make more immersion plate. I didn't do the same thing with beams though. Now this is getting messed up. Energy beam, or was it a? Space rock. I think it was a space rock. Speaking of Nalvis, um, it seems at the very least we still have a worm to kill. There's still all this stuff up here. But we're getting pretty close to clearing the planet. Cool, cool, cool. And by the time we do, I couldn't care less about regular core fragments anymore. We're getting so many from all of the other uh, types of core fragment that I had to make a second block to process vanilla core fragments. But I guess it, c it certainly couldn't hurt. That's not true. Because I would have to send um, spaceships to go get it. I could make a little outpost that just is completely self-sufficient and sends the core fragments via delivery cannon capsule. What would be the bare minimum I would have to do for that, though? Um, a lot actually. I think it would be better to just have it as another spaceship pickup. Are we there yet? Of course. We didn't have to go very far. Oh, I forgot to bring the wall. Why can't you board? You're kidding. Because it doesn't have the wall, it can't... Can't move like two nanometers so that we can board the construction ship? Right. Alright, um, board construction ship. 
and then return to Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. I like how the turrets suddenly woke up. Will the next gen spaceships be able to land on outposts? Uh, they can. It would probably just be a bit of a waste of fuel. Especially because I'm going to have the space elevators anyway um, to power the outposts. Not to mention, if I was going to change the outposts so that they don't have space elevators, that would be a lot of work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get our new thruster suit. Astro Bio Tier 1 and the other two Tier 3. Let's borrow this guy. Astro and Bio Tier 1 catalogs. Where for art our catalog builds? Here we go. It's going to throw off our perfect catalog count. One train load for one train load of cards. Oh well. But. Oh, rude. Fine, I'll keep a stack of them. Bio catalogs? Just in case I need to replace. Make a spare or something with them all. Tier 3 for the other two, right? And then a bunch of solid rocket fuel, a single aeroframe bulkhead, 50 superconductive cable. Hmm. Why have we got half a train load here? What, wait, where do it do? Wait, okay, okay, okay. I guess I'll take a stack. It's fine. Francois, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. And yoink. And then we need superconductive cable. Which is probably in the mall already. I think I saw some. It is. I'll grab it anyway. Since we're already here. It's actually like just under one train load here. I almost feel bad for taking it. And I think that's everything that we had to go out of our way to pick up. Oh, a single aeroframe bulkhead. There should be plenty of those in the mall. And yoink. Hey, that rock train, well, spaceship got back. So how long has it been since we processed any stone core fragments? Oof, oof, owie. More than 10 hours. Oh no. That's very unfortunate. Ouch. And that's not an insignificant throughput of stone that we can get with that either. 
50 stone per second indefinitely. Alright, 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 alright. Where's our... Oh, that's Holmium Cable. Where's our superconductive? Also, I need a stack of these. Oh, don't tell me we already had... We already had... A, like, a chest full of comprehensive... Astro data here. Wait, no, we needed the Tier 1 Astro. Never mind. There's our superconductive. And I think that just leaves rocket fuel. And a single aeroframe bulkhead. It should be in here, actually. If I can find it. There we go. Uh, solid rocket fuel. And that's it. Solid rocket fuel. Wherefore art thou? Um, I should probably just search for it. I should probably just search for it. And also not walk on the train tracks. Okay, fine. I'll do it properly. Did something break? No, I think we're good. Why are we eyeing? Ian Noah, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, I'm going to step into the spaceship. Actually, I can just do it here. With no life support. I can just stand around if it's on spaceship floor. Um, and then... Rusta suit mark threat. Why are we radioactive all of a sudden? No, 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 stop. Please. Oh my god. Arkale, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. But where's the fun in that? In survival, it's a prerequisite. Like iron gears. Okay. 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 I'm gonna just put this on the floor for a second. Alright. And... Power supply can go in here. Maybe I should just use solar panels or something. It's only one point, uh, two point four megawatt. And these things can do one point five during the day, anyway. Whatever, it's fine. Uh. Hmm. Let me put on the power armor. Now I've got some shielding. Now I can pick these up and not take damage. Now I can put them in this thing. And now we can wear it. And we get more inventory space. Noise. Oh no. No, it must have stuck it into my inventory. I was going to say, where did the personal roboports and stuff that I had in there go? But I wouldn't have suddenly been radioactive if it didn't eject the portable nuclear reactor into my inventory. Also, why do I have 50 superconductive? Was I already carrying 50 superconductive cable? I just didn't know it? That's weird. Okay, um, I want more jetpack.
I, I, may, I mostly just want to maximize jetpack. And maybe we'll put some battery charge. 150 megajoules versus... Oh, wow. In max... Internal buffer recharge rate. Wait a sec. Does it say... I, I remember we calculated this and then someone pointed out it actually just tells you. What's the maximum energy storage for the personal RoboPort Mark II? What's the fun in not standing around on train tracks? Oh no. Is there non-radioactive option that's comparable or better? Uh, not comparable or better for how much power you get. Or at least I haven't gone to the trouble of... What do we need here? Energy 4. Portable fusion reactor. That's probably not radioactive, right? Maybe. It's not that much better. 3.2 megawatt. But still. How much volume do we have now? It's not saturated. In fact, there's literally nothing here. Ingots wise. Oh no. The portable RTG, they're really weak in this. Portable RTG, 800 kilowatts. Uh, portable RTG Mark II, 1.2 megawatt. So if we go for four um, big portable Emersite solar panels, we'll actually get more power out of those, except for when the sun goes down. Although, I don't know if we get less out of them further from the sun or not. But yeah, Portable RTG Mark II, I think is the highest tier that we can get. But just free power forever. 1.2 megawatt isn't bad. But it's half, half the output of the portable nuclear reactor. And you almost never have to... Like, one stack of these will last you, I don't know, 10,000 hours or something. Hmm. Can we get better jetpacks? Probably not. Yeah, that's the highest tier. It needs everything for... And an Aquatite. Alright, give me some jetpacks. Oof, so slow. Help. Calling the taxi. We've got jetpacks automated down here. I guess I could upgrade power armor. Do we have AI cores here? No, we would have consumed them all. We do have them over this way. They still haven't moved an inch since, like, many, many hours ago. I'm actually just waiting on quantum processors still. Which are looking for holmium cables, so everything's holmium right now. Um, and I actually need quantum processes to make the power armor more for. I'm not entirely sure I can be bothered right now. The non-radioactive is more the point? Yeah, understandable. So what's your Holmium bottleneck? Um, I don't know, we pushed it around earlier today. Oh, we still haven't put purple belts over here. Because we're short on, I think it was... Heavy bearings again. We always run out of heavy bearings when we spend lots and lots of... 
Lots and lots of purple belts. So currently we're... There we go. Yeah, we've run out of iridium because we were slow on ultimately hydrogen, actually. That's the next thing I should fix. It's actually hydrogen coming right now. But first, I want to play with configuring our new. Where's my jetpacks? I need some robot bolts. Where are my robo-bots? I think they're just lying around somewhere. Why do we have raw cryonide in here? Bruh. Maybe I should just put a crusher here so we can get rid of some of these things. That actually sounds like a pretty good idea. I'm not going to a whole lot of trouble to get a little bit of random cryonite where it needs to go. And same goes for... Holmium... Holmonite... Don't know what else. It depends on how many we've got, like, if it's worth the trouble of making sure the trains take it away. Anyway, um... I was supposed to be looking for... Tier 2... Roboport. Where the... There it is. Oh, it's so slow. All right. How about we go like five of these, eight of these, a couple of shields for good measure. And maybe just even more jetpacks? What else would I put up here? It's not supposed to be for combat and the lasers wouldn't do much anyway. Batteries. All right, let's see how it handles. Well, that's not bad. It'll do. Ah, oh, screw it. More jetpack, no shield. Who needs them? Actually, how much did I increase my jetpack acceleration? 333 to 384. Uh, we get diminishing returns, right? If I put on one adaptive armor Mark IV, maybe we can ignore spicy rocks. Or at least ignore them for a little while. Oh, we can. Cool. That's worth. No spicy rocks. No life support? It's built into the, uh, the suit. It just lasts longer if we use dedicated life support. I assume you don't want to turn off radiation damage. Mm. What tier of life support can we even make right now? Uh... Tier 3. And we need Deep Space 2 to do better than that. 10 Vitalic Reagent and Aeroframe Bulkhead previous tier. Do I have a tier 2 lying around? Probably not. It needs Bio Sludge. That's going to be a pain to make. Yeah, 
I'd have to go on another little adventure. We need only one, and then only one. It doesn't multiply it like in the last version. Okay then. Uh, let's see. Bio scrubber, space pipe, and bio sludge. And then Vitalik Reagent, Aeroframe Bot. I can't be bothered, honestly. The dedicated thing to increase efficiency. Yes. Yeah. I'd rather just stand in the spaceships more often. Or inside a train. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to be fixing... Hydrogen. Let's try doing a better layout. Actually, let me have a look over here. Yeah, we've definitely got like half a block to the right side here. Of space that we can use up. heck is that? Oh, I think I remember. It's that, it's like an environmental floor thing. Yep, the clock's changed for you, and here in the UK, stream shows five hours, but it's 1pm. Uh, I had to start a bit later today, I was just exhausted from work. Alright. Um, electrolysis, and water separation. Now, how many of these can we elegantly fit? And also, I'm pretty sure I don't have a hydrogen. Wait, no, oxygen. Yeah, I don't have oxygen being picked up by trains, because we can make it literally anywhere. Okay, then. Alright, um... Probably tier threes, this is not that big of a deal. I will use beacons. We can make them fit somewhere sensibly. How about water down the middle like this? Actually, how many tiles is this? Five. I could do a little offset of space pipes. I don't think we have to worry about it that much. How about steel? Where's the middle? There it is. Hmm. How close could I put this? The trouble is these pipes don't face each other. And they can't be flipped. I guess I could offset them. That doesn't really help that much. Hmm. We've established we can't do more than two in a row the way we have them facing the other way and have a beacon reach. Actually, I guess I could move this pipe up, right? Or if it was steel pipe, maybe. Yeah, this can go quite far. Definitely on the other side of the beacon. That might be the way to go. Alternatively... If we have the water go down the middle like that... We'd have to have... 
well, kind of like this. And like this. That's not that bad. Potentially. And then... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why do I have seven? in the middle. That's touching all of those. And you could do the same thing on the opposite side. And how much would we make? 384 hydrogen per second. It only needs 576 water. Um, that might be good actually. And then we could do... Well, we only need the one pickup station. Big ol' thanks. Nice, quick pickup. I don't think we really need more than 600k storage. Uh, and we need to vent the oxygen. At 192 per second. That would normally be four flare stacks. Except... They benefit from modules. Oh, I haven't even... Oh. 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 Minus 50% power consumption. Okay, how fast is this? Still not that fast. 960 water per second, not a problem. 640 hydrogen per second, that's more like it. 320 oxygen needs to be deleted. We can put speed modules, or a speed module in this. So then the question is is if we have oxygen how fast does it remove 130 per second if it's under the beacon so 260 we need three we're we gonna put it Where indeed? One, two, three. But then we can't get this over here. Should work just fine. Maybe up in the middle would make more sense for the flare stacks. They need to be in the beacon though. That looks like it belongs. Sure. This is fine. And then... If I move this like one, two, three, four, five tiles over... No, never mind. Actually, I take that back. Put it in the middle container. And 
this is a pickup station for nitrogen. Uh, and we need the hydrogen, of course, to connect over here in the same way. Can I do that? Not quite. That looks about right. Now let's give it a water supply. And confirm that that would work. Looks good so far. No contamination or anything. How fast is this again? 300... No, 640 per second. Yeah, we've already got a few thousand. Alright. Let's copy that back to... our block over here. Let's see if... Uh, it looks like it mostly can be placed here. Don't need all that rail. In fact, just remove all of that from the copy-paste. I think these needed to go down just a few tiles. Except I don't want to copy paste that part. And looking good. Fantastic. We can even remove this. Do we have electrolysis machines in the train? Not right now. How many were there? We stacked to 25. Let's just put in 50. Looks like a lot of empty space to fit more in the block for more production. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything else with this, like, half block over here, though. It's probably all the hydrogen we need. At least for now. We don't already have it. Actually, just wait there. I don't think I brought um, steel pipe, actually. Where can I fit another offshore pump? About here. Seems good. We do have steel pipe. Probably not enough to do it all in one go. I don't think I brought layer stacks either. Hagen orbit train out of fuel. Not this again. That's a lie. Why are you like this? Bruh. Anyway, uh... Flare stack. Huh. 
Wait, no, there are some here. There's a lot of them, actually. Okay, okay, okay. It's Factorio, you're supposed to find out how much you need, then make twice as much? Uh, we're kind of doing that. And then when we get bottlenecks, we shift them around. Alright, we just need some more pipe, probably. Literally just more pipe. Alright, alright, alright. One more lap from our train. And a little bit more rail over here. And we don't really need all these signals over here, right? Maybe tidy that up a little bit. That's not scary. Oh, nice and neat. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. There we go. And we need even more steel pipe. Bruh. 83. How much are we picking up each time? Fifty. Don't need any more electrolyzers though. I think T Hacks made twenty times what's needed for two K SPM. Surely not. In some places? We'll see. Here's a few pipes for you. Thank you. I was just gonna say there's never a bottleneck because there's never a bottleneck to be found in Factorio. Yes. Bottlenecks aren't real, they can't hurt you. Alright, we're gonna get this thing online this time. Looks like it. Looks a good. And we've already got, like, several thousand hydrogen. Fantastic. I forgot my character was standing here. Alright, that makes this one pretty much obsolete. There's hardly anything here, I may as well get rid of it. of random stuff that that rail block has stolen grows. Mm. Oh yeah, wasn't I using... I, I was going to use like this spot to get rid of stuff that we don't need. How about like here? And then... It's actually one tile outside of the robot network. But what I wanted to do... Okay. I 
and see how it is. And we're gonna go... Quest a chest. I don't think we have one on us. Oh, I can't even handcraft it. Bro. Do we have some random stuff I can use to handcraft it? Don't think so. Alright, 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 alright. Where's that train? Still waiting on purple belt. Still waiting on... I'm blanking on what they're called. Oily, spinny things. Heavy bearing. Which is waiting on Iridium Ingot, which is waiting on... Uh, probably Blast Key, because this is probably a lot faster. I should probably prod six iridium ingots. We need 48 times 4, 192 prod sixes. I think we have that. Uh, 113 plus 6. What did I say? 194. That's too many. God damn it. We got our. Wait, no I didn't. We can get our request a chest anyway. Did you set the train limits for Vulcanite? I did. Yeah. Train limit one if less than 5k core fragments for each of these. So we actually get... Well, I was going to say we get more than half the blocks running, but at the moment that's not actually true. Bracket V. It's been trending downward. That's not good. Do we at least have plenty of... We've still got a lot of uh, Pyroflux. Oh, I need to update this to use more prods. But I'm getting a little bit concerned because it takes a very long time to consume it. And we've had ludicrous amounts stored here for a long time. Apparently we still need more spaceships. Yeah, uh, might actually be a spaceship. Why is this wire not connected? I don't think that's the real problem, though. It's going to send a train over, but the issue of there being no Vulcanite core fragments here isn't really going to change. In fact, yeah, that wouldn't have affected the overall throughput at all. Mm. Alright, alright, alright. More ships, I guess. How many more freaking ships do we need? And did I name the last one? I think I did. Chimera... Oh, nope. I did not name it. It is called... That's the new one. You dub is called Knight at the moment. And the rest of them are called Iron Hall or something, Chimera, or Baby Ship, or Construction Ship. What are we up to? 29? And we've got our fuel... And we need to trigger the first bit of fuel input, and then we can just launch. And it should put itself into circulation automatically. 
but the others kind of sort of didn't. So let's give it a hand. Uh, and then let's borrow a wire from this thing. And we're gonna uh, read logistic network contents, set requests, but before we do that, we're gonna whitelist everything that's supposed to be here. Um, so stone, stone brick, concrete of every type. Although I haven't done any find uh, any hazard concrete, but I think that's literally just concrete or refined concrete turns into either of these. So I could slap that down wherever I want. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go constant combinator. We could go red or green wire here. It doesn't really matter. But we're just going to put big negative numbers for anything that's supposed to be here. Construction robots. Or at least, uh... Wait, what? Oh, that's the request. Couldn't put in a negative. We, we put in the negative of how much of something is allowed to be here. in the robot network. I think we've got a precise count of robots in this whole system. That's why. Hmm. Three, four, f hold on, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, so 300. And then every type of floor. And stone brick. Concrete. Hazard concrete. Refined. Hazard refined. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have this train deliver landfill. Black reinforced plate. Light reinforced plate. Uh, I guess I could put spaceship floor here, but I'm not going to. And that should be everything. Everything that we want to keep here. Yep, seems good. And then we just set requests. And the Logibots will bring all of it. And then we borrow uh, this train stop. And we say, if anything is in here, train limit is one. And the trash train will come and pick it up eventually. And all of this fine emesite powder is going to end up in the mall. I'm not entirely sure I like that, especially since I have room to carry it right now. Same goes for the silicon. Especially since I can just drop it right here. Take some... That's a lot of solid rocket fuel. Uh, same goes for quartz, I guess. As for the rest, that should probably all return to the mall. I can drop the sand off over here. Now 
where do we put fine emicide powder? Right in here. Eagle Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where's our train? Here it is. Alright, so. All that remains in the robot network is apparently including 20 solid rocket fuel. Oh, it's in the buffer chests. Yeah, we do want that to be here. That's our train fuel. basically it. Trash train could not arrive to the new station because it will always be a train in the concrete stock. Oh, true. Well, it won't always be here, but yeah, I definitely get what you mean. Hmm. Well, that means I've put this in a very awkward spot indeed. What about up this way? That'll work. Cool, cool, cool. More to the point, is this trash train ever escaping from the trickle of... Oh, no. What's not supposed to be here? Raw Imasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stopped using this as that a while ago. Okay. Can we get our construction train over there? I think we can. Despite missing purple belts. Yes, we can, indeed. Belusal, Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, that was the wrong way away. Uh, wrong way around. Raw Emisite. And use both sides of the belt. It's only a blue belt. That's going to be saturated for a while. And this is... Sending the old stuff from Granis. Right. How's our new build looking? Quite good, actually. Chromium ingots, looking pretty steady since about half an hour ago. About 120 per minute. That was a zippy train, indeed. Okay, okay, okay. I think I'm going to collapse from hunger if I don't take a break kind of soon. Um, I kind of want to make sure our resource inputs are working though. Seems like they are. But I bet if I look at all the outposts, um, 
we've actually got everything saturated. Which means we need more ships. Uh, the more ships we have, the, the more UPS goes down. We're going to be able to have a lot fewer ships with the higher technology. But at the moment... Maybe I would have... Hmm... I definitely wouldn't have, like, waited till I had antimatter spaceships. But maybe I would have stuck with, like, delivery cannons and or uh, cargo rockets for a while longer in the system. If I'd known it would be like this. Also, I definitely would have made my... Actually, let me double check something. I was going to say I would have made my first tier of spaceships bigger. But I don't know if we could have afforded it. I think we were, like, right on the edge of both hull, uh, hull stress and container stress. Let's see. Container stress 499. Okay, so we could have increased hull stress. So I definitely could have had, like, six uh, condenser turbines. Maybe even eight. But I think I calculated if we had six condenser turbines, we never would have had that uh, fuel replacement problem that happens occasionally. Could you make your ships able to carry more to improve the throughput instead of adding more of them? Yes, but the I've already got a design for that. Um, but it needs antimatter. It, it's better in every way except for that it's larger and it needs higher tech and more stuff uh, to build the ship. Um, basically these things right here can consume antimatter fuel. For electricity. Um, they won't do that if we've got enough solar panels, but like, yeah, if we've got fuel, we've got power, and we can, we've got way more uh, storage, and we go faster. Literally just much better in every way, but we need a bit of research to get it going. More than a bit of research. So things are going to be a bit uh, suboptimal until then. What, are we up to 30 now? I think we are. Ion Hauler 30. I dare say... Um, if, I, if I made a better scheduling system, we could maybe get by with fewer ships as well. And then anchor here. It's twenty seven, okay. Twenty seven is a okay. It's waiting to drop off Holmanite, which means we've got plenty of Holmanite. Or at least plenty of Holmanite core fragments. Ooh. 45 hit points on the wall. That came close. I'm pretty sure we don't have um, what we need for energy weapon damage. <gasps> we do. We do, we do, we do. Yeah. Uh. Wait, what? I need... En That's rude. I need Energy Science Pack 3 and Advanced Tech Cards, which we've got, to upgrade Energy Weapon Damage. But it has a prerequisite of Personal Laser Defense Mark 4, which needs Energy Science Pack 4. Bruh. I think there's a few things, at least a couple of things, I really want to see um, from Energy 4. 
Matter fusion would let us swap matter that we've got, like types of matter that we've got too much of to stuff that we actually need. Um, I'm actually half excited, half dreading the process of designing a system to balance all the different types of matter that we've got. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? That's a prereq. Dynamic emitter. Those aren't that difficult to make. Electric mining drill Mark Three. I think I prefer the big drills. Maybe this has more prods or something. Shield projector is amazing. Nano material is a nice prereq. Nano material cable. Hmm. That sounds cool. High temp turbine. We need here for everything science to get that. I really want it though. Um, we obviously need it to get deep space science. I could make the robots faster as well. I need portable fusion reactors before I can upgrade the worker robot speed. So apparently we're cramming fusion reactors into every single one of them. I certainly hope that we're not having to recharge them after that. Uh, personal lasers are pretty underwhelming in this version. They just need too much power. Uh, but yeah. There's some stuff we can get kind of immediately. Uh, I could go portable fusion reactor. Matter fusion 2. And more to the point, we could get higher damage lasers, which would mean we can get at least two more tiers of laser damage. Although it's pretty expensive, but it would mean our ships would be safer. Looks like you need slash want all the toys? Yes. Absolutely. A thousand times yes. Alright, is there anything for me to research before before we do... Oh, there is. No, we don't have Astro 4. Um, I actually haven't done these ones. I just need Bio 3. Uh, don't really care about construction pylons. They weren't that good last time. Improved pollution filter. I kind of want to need those, but it's better to just kill all the biters. Because UPS. We need Astro 4 and Material 4 to do to unlock Naquium processing. Uh, material 4 for heavy assembly. 333. Three, three. Hey, we can get supercomputers. Neural supercomputers. The second highest tier. That's actually really cheap to research right now. Ben Wu, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream? Locknuts, welcome in. It yo bro Valky, thank uh welcome in. Hope you're doing well. It yo bro Valky. And thank you for the follow. Oh, advanced roboports. I could have done this a while ago. Well, not that long ago. Uh, spaceship structural integrity is pretty expensive. Let's get it started, I guess. Then we need matter science pack one, which I think we have um, for integrity seven. These two just add a hundred. That gets us up to a thousand. Maybe it'd be worth a redesign at a thousand, even if we don't have the antimatter stuff. I have to recall all the old spaceships, though. Uh, character inventory, absolutely. Lab research productivity might be good to get that first. We haven't spent that much science since we had access to that. 
Actually, we kind of have... Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. It's probably fine. I'm sure it's... I'm sure it's fine. I could also do mining productivity, but honestly, that's really not our problem. It's getting the core fragments to where they need to go and processing them. Advanced pickaxe? Character mining speed plus 200%. Amazing. Alright, let's knock all of that off first. Oh, and this. And this. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Stream was good. Got some Factorio and some Oni. Oh, on the same stream. Um, how's our train doing over here? Yeah, that's much better. Won't be nearly as long. Move all that stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Where are you off to? Get on the lunch. We're picking up Vulcanite core fragments right now. Oh, I just realized. Or was remembered. Uh, seeing this saturated for a long time is not necessarily indicative of the spaceships not keeping up. Because as we add more spaceships and they keep taking from here faster on average, there's actually a massive amount of Vulcanite core fragment storage in the trains and in all of the outposts. Uh, the outpost stations. Yeah, so the fact that... Okay, 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 okay. Some of these are still full. Okay, in that case, I definitely think we need more throughput picking up more fragments from the outposts. Um, but if, if we checked on all of these stations and found most of them very close to empty, or like less than one train load anyway, uh, I think that would imply we've got enough spaceships now moving moving stuff. There's a, uh, there's a few of them. We can actually check the graph. Vulcanite core fragments, production. Um... Huh. Well, I don't actually have a spike much higher than what we're doing now. So it's hard to find, like... Oh yeah, that's right. This outpost can supply more than we can actually consume with these two blocks. They're not all active, though. So we definitely need more spaceship moving them. More spaceship. I, I really was hoping we could get by on like 20 um, before we upgrade to the antimatter ships. Had a break point and suddenly felt like I needed to try Oni, just jumped in tonight. Nice, nice. Kind of looking forward to getting back to mobile operating system. Actually, I want to do some messing around with that off-stream first. So I spend less time looking up commands and more time explaining how to do it. Have some nice programs to share. Uh, this is going to be 31, isn't it? Ion Hauler 31. I guess at this rate, we're going to 40. At least we can build new ones casually. We're not doing that badly, if that's the case. 
Taking an anchor to one of the free drop-offs. I have been putting in, into uh, putting some thought into. Oh, I need to do this. Almost forgot. Put some put some nuclear reactor fuel in. I have been putting some thought into. A, a better dispatch system. But it would be very hard to do with Factorio Combinators. Maybe I could have like a series of... Okay, wait, ideas are forming. It might be difficult, but maybe I could have... A... Instead of one memory cell that like holds on to the first thing it was told until it resets. Maybe I could have a series of them where one memory cell passes its information to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. So we could remember a list of like five or ten outposts that are requesting um, and if we have a queue, even if it's not a very long queue, that should take a significant chunk out of the pseudo-randomness of when we send ships to various outposts. I don't know what to do about the way it double launches them sometimes. I guess I could... Like, add a timer to the dispatcher. Did you start the reactor on 31? I did. I did forget it for a little while there. You can see the heat is increasing, even though it's basically got no power right now. It's got 920 kilowatts, but it's probably all being sucked up by the ion engines other than the laser turrets. You could just put your dispatch on the same timer as well. Yeah. If I have it dispatched like once per second, like try to give an order once per second, uh, it should stop double launching ships if we've got multiple ships docked at the same time. Right? I think it just, um, well, the thing is, it's not supposed to reset the memory cell until the ship actually launches. And yet we're still getting double launches. Like, uh, where is it? This thing here. Yeah. When... It detects that the ship just launched. It sends the R signal to uh, to dispatch. And then it should only be able to send... Oh! I think I know what's happening. So we've got, like, two ships available. No, no, I don't know what's happening. Maybe. I may have an idea what's happening. Does it send a ready signal while the ship is still launching? Also, I'm amazed how much time is spent with our drop-offs empty right now. Let's pay attention to this one. It should be still sending the ship ready signal until the moment the ship takes off. Once it's got four green. How many ticks does that take to propagate? Um, several. I think. I 
Have we got heat on this one? Yeah, we do. You wouldn't know it by looking at it, but it is puffing steam, so we can tell. Can I grab those last few core fragments? There we go. Ready, ship. And... It doesn't have a mission yet. That would seem to imply that all of our outposts are not requesting at the moment, which would seem to imply we have enough ships. And yet, if I go look at Granis... Oh, there's a, sh there's a ship on the way to Granis right now, that's why. That would be why. So maybe we do have enough ships now. Yeah, if this guy's not launching straight away, it probably means we're good to go. It'll remain... It, it, will, it remains to be seen whether... Whether the ships will bring all of the core fragments. It's about to launch. Okay, so how long does it kill? Uh, does it keep sending that signal? No, oh, it hasn't even actually launched. It hasn't even fully launched before the signal, the ready signal, stops getting sent. Which means. Which means this thing is going to pass on the same order to another ship in that second or so. Though it doesn't necessarily make sense that we get like double launches, like clap clap, just right next to each other. Um, but I can definitely see it sending the same mission to two ships because of that. Hmm. Could your dispatcher send the destination to the dock for each ship? Then when it gives the launch command, there's not a problem on how many ships it launches at once. That was my idea originally, but I didn't end up going with it. Uh, just because of, like, the shape of making it work with combinators. Maybe if I... Hmm. Maybe instead of like... Ooh, boop -a doop Maybe if instead of like ready ships, we have... Like the ship doesn't report itself as ready if there's something on the memory cell here. And once there's something on this memory cell, it sends the reset signal back to central instead of after the ship lands. And then... And then if we're not sending the ready signal, then... Like, this this will ignore... This is a memory cell that remembers the first thing it's told, so if stuff is still being sent here for a second, it doesn't matter. But Central won't be sending stuff to here because we're not going to be sending the ready signal anymore. I can see things going badly messing with this, but maybe. Wait, 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 no. Um, okay, so we keep this combinator where it is. So it still resets this memory cell. But then... I'd have to add, like, a pulse generator, I think. Or I could just use the pulse generator that's already here. I could take the output from this thing, that only outputs what it receives for the first tick, and then say... 
if anything, output our signal instead of this one. So we're going to reset the central memory cell as soon as we've got something on this memory cell, which means the moment it receives, it, that goes blank and then it can receive something else and it can be sent to another ship. That might actually be incredibly easy to do. But I might want to, like, save scum it or something before I try it. But it is actually just, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven combinators that we would need to update and, like, as many wires. Alright, let's try it. I'm gonna do it right now. Does the double launch thing matter if all your outposts are stacked with material? Uh, well, preferably, ideally, as soon as there's like 9,000 uh, core fragments at an outpost, it can request a ship. Um, let me go upstairs. Also... Let me empty this. It's actually much closer to what I had, the idea that I had in the first place. The Mr. Tomato Man? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is the mod where you can open the editor in-game? It is called Editor Extensions. And apparently I need to do this myself. And you'll want to set mod options to per player tab, uh, editor extensions, testing lab, something other than off. Thank you, Veldak. Why is this train not moving? Oh, it is moving. It was just waiting for a signal. At present, isn't every outpost almost constantly reporting 90k plus materials? Yes, I think so. Uh, I can think of an outpost that might not be. Exorion? How much do we have here? On that red wire. 33,000. Never mind. Uh, but it is slow enough that this ship isn't taking off for a bit because of the way I've got the trains supplying this side first and then this side. We can probably stop spamming spaceship floor downstairs for the moment. And reset the train. What was I going to do? Oh yeah, combinators. Um, of which I have many. I think I should... Okay, first of all I'm going to save. And I'm going to save while I'm sitting at central. I just recently learned that with RSO you have spiders in the personal lab? Oh no. RSO. What is RSO? It's not rampant, right? Okay, we're going to save here. Resource... something overhaul? Is that still needed? Yeah, this is why I turned auto saves off. Eh, it's not as bad as it was before, because we've managed to trim some surfaces. It's actually this combinator right here. It says... If anything greater than 9k, pass it on. Um, otherwise it'll ignore whatever's coming from the outpost. 
Alright, so we're gonna go... Just side a combinator. Actually, we're gonna do this. If anything greater than zero, output one R. And that's gonna go here. And here. And here. And here. 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 Okay. Where am I going? What? What the? Where am I going? Green signs go burr. This is good. Alright, first of all, I'm gonna stop dispatch from doing anything for a moment. Um, so we're just going to stop sending signals to the launches. Roboport on. We're going to remove these green wires. And we're going to do all of those at once so that we don't have to, like, remember. So basically, instead of sending a reset signal to central when the ship launches, we're only going to send it to the local memory cell. And from the local memory cell, when we first receive something on the local memory cell, we're going to reset the central memory cell. And that was green wire, right? Central dispatch. Central dispatch, green wire goes to the reset, yes. Fantastic. Now I should be able to just copy paste these. There should be nothing on these memory cells, right? Fantastic. Alright, copy paste. Paste. Copy paste. And I think we already did this one though. Yes. And then I just have to go physically place them so that I can place the green wires. Will you play exotic industries? I uh, don't know. Never heard of it. Doxilos, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thought that was a bot trailing me, the mouse pointer. Wanted to try it to get different, more spread out resources. Fair enough. So what resource scanner overhaul is it? Is that the mod I used ages ago, or is it a different thing? It doesn't just... Or does it or does it not just, um, like, redo the way resource spawning works, the way they're distributed? That goes there, goes there, that 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 goes there. That goes there. That goes there. And this one should be already done. Cool. Alright, let's see if our patch idea works. Uh, in theory... Oh, we've only got one ready to launch, apparently. Now there's three. Okay. Uh, in theory, this should actually just launch one at a time. It looks like it's already launched two. Um, okay, where are they going? That's the old ship, Chimera. This one's headed for Corsol. This is going via Foenestra. And this is going to Moss Garden. 
I think we may have fixed the double launches. Mule orbit. Yeah. Are there two of them here? No. I don't think so. Oh, this that's not a dispatch one, the one that goes to Muir. But yeah, I think uh I think that worked. And they still launch pretty close together, so it's not like we're going to bottleneck on that. Cool, cool, cool. I'm glad someone prompted me to look at that again. I wouldn't quite say that's a minor improvement relatively minor but what I really want to improve about the dispatch system is what I was talking about before instead of it being pseudo random we could actually have a queue instead of it just being you know whichever one wh whichever request gets the attention of central dispatch first with the random not random, it's a timer, it's a loop, and each of them takes turns. But we never know, like, relative to that loop, we don't know when spaceship's gonna... when this memory cell's gonna get reset. Although, if it's getting reset as soon as... Nope, never mind. I just realized we don't have to wait for a spaceship to be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I was on the verge of saying this earlier. Uh, if we're going to do it this way, we don't actually have to wait for a spaceship to be ready for, for the system to pass through some information for a destination. All we need is, I think I can just literally change this thing right here to read from the memory cell here and say if, if everything equals zero, if there's nothing on the memory cell, output Vulcanite. Yeah, 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 I think I'm going to do that. And I think I can make that patch without any physical changes. Literally just... Well, that raises the question of, do I even need all this information? We obviously need to check all those conditions before we launch the ship. So that none of that's going to change. We're only going to say, instead of green signal equals 4... Wait, what? Where was the red wire for this? Anything greater than zero launch? Why was the red wire attached to this? I don't think it did any harm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because we want to output the green signal twice without using an extra combinator. To make up for, like, these two conditions when we start using antimatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Um, but we don't need this to be connected here at all. We want red wire from the memory cell to here. And we want to say if everything equals zero. And that's actually exactly where and how many combinators I want. Um to make this change. So, there's a few steps, but we don't have to physically go over there. Uh, if everything equals zero... I'm connecting this before I change it, because otherwise it'll report that it's ready when it's not necessarily. Hmm. 
And I think it doesn't matter that we're doing this surgery while ships are moving. Probably. Hmm. Maybe I could... Eh, it's kind of dodgy. I could have, like, reduced the combinator count a little bit. If I did, like... Nah, that's fine. If any... Uh, everything equals zero. And we've got one, two, three, four more to go, I think. Everything equals zero. So the moment there's something on this memory cell, we reset the central one. And the moment there's nothing on this memory cell, uh, we tell central that this is available. That should be all it takes, right? loss of that ship ready signal while I'm messing around with this and ships are moving around shouldn't actually cause any problems. Okay, that's it. So that's gonna, instead of ships ready, what we're actually saying is dispatches that don't have something on the memory cell right now. So apparently it's only uh, Iridite and Vidimolange at the moment. That don't have something on the cell. Everyone else does. So this guy's got... Moon Orbit 1.1k Iridite. This guy's got... Moon Orbit 1.1k... Uh, Vidimolange. That would be... These two, I think. Um, this one's our uh, outpost that brings us um, Imazite Cave Core Fragments. This one is empty, which I think we already set. No, must have launched a ship already. Okay, why is that one not uh, reporting ready? I may have missed it somehow. I did miss it. I, f I forgot a wire. Someone probably said so. Oh, I skipped it entirely. If everything equals zero. And check back at central. It is reporting ready. So as soon as we get something on the memory cell here, if that's the only one that's ready at the time, uh, that'll get passed through. How would you base the queue? Most material available for pickup? Least material? Oh, no sorting. Just whatever we find first. But... Wait a sec. Doesn't... Oh, uh, no. What I was thinking of would probably be able to have the same thing on the queue multiple times. But then... Nope, never mind. The timer limitation is for reporting that it wants something launched. Yeah, but this seems to be working. We've we've got like several different destinations queued up in the launches themselves. That kind of already is the queue system that I was thinking of? I think? 
Hold up. Oh yeah, no, no, I remember now. Um, so at our outposts, the the cooldown that we've got is based on is my home address detected? If my home address is not detected on the central memory cell, run the timer. And if it is detected on the central memory cell, reset the timer. So that should work very well. Leet Geek, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Most material available for pickup. Yeah, I would do that if I could think of a good way to do the prioritization system. Least material at the dock. Or a more complicated method based on progressing need. Uh, I would probably prioritize based on how much stuff is in these chests. But then it's a kind of a relatively small... Like, it's kind of the tip of the iceberg compared to what the outpost has available. This is actually full of Holmanite, and the timer hasn't caught up yet. Um, why is it looping... Wait, what? I'm confused. So there's two conditions here. Hormonite core fragment storage back at base is below some amount. That's at the drop-off. And we don't already have this address on the memory cell at central. And then we run a timer for usually like that five minutes or something? I forget. But I've been tweaking some of them that are closer to... closer to Hagen Orbit. And a 7.2k. That's... 120 seconds. Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense considering how close to Hagen we are. Oh, right. No, the time... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The time signal is central clock cycling over 60 ticks. The T signal here is the local timer, and that's... That's it. Uh, basically, it starts counting up, but there's like an offset here, and then once it's above zero... I, I guess I could just type that constant in here instead of having the constant combinator, now that I think of it. Yeah, that, that probably would have saved a constant combinator. I don't think constant combinators are very UPS intensive, though. Um, but yeah, we've definitely improved our system here. Maybe that'll mean we get more consistent Vulcanite? Probably not. It'd be really nice if I could build prioritization into this. Uh, is anyone headed for... Granus? We got one coming back from Granus with Vulcanite. So that's something. This one is headed for Moss Garden. Maybe I'll drop the cooldown on Granus. What's it set to? Oops. Also, dupa dupe. Wait, what did I just click on? Oh. I see, I see, I see. Granus, orbit. 18,000 ticks. That's like 300 seconds. Five minutes. Um, I think I'd rather, like, effectively make this a really high priority. Let's just set it to, like, a minute.
and it's kind of stochastic from there as to whether and how soon we send more ships here. Um, so 3,600 uh, ticks, I think. Yeah. So whenever T is positive, uh, assuming some other conditions, we will be trying to report, which we are. Maybe I should have included a little light or something. to see if we're like trying to send signals back but as it is that would only flicker unless I like added more combinators to figure it out it would only like flick a flicker for one tick per second which it is doing by the way so it's saying every single second it's saying please schedule me to get a ship sent over here Every single second. Oh yeah, um... If we see a drop-off that's empty but there's a red light here, it means the ship's not going to land until more of the core fragments are drained out. So that we can empty the ship in one go. Which doesn't seem to be happening with any of these right now. Hmm. Poor little Granis is still asking for a ship. And it's been doing so for 12,000 ticks. Uh, for three, three minutes and 20 seconds. It's waiting to put its contest in a full... Just wait what? Stranded bot at the recycling launch pad. Yeah, that's normal. That's normal. It's waiting to drop its contents in there and it's full. It's waiting for a train to pick up all of that mess. Example in dispatch A signal for the planet X will only be there and no other dispatch will be able to send ships there. With this method, is it possible for a signal to be perpetually frozen in a dispatch that uh, that it's not use that's not used for a long time? Technically, yes. Which is why it's important to keep core fragments of each type flowing, which is already important anyway with this setup, because the outposts don't get, um, the outposts don't get spell evader cables delivered to them. Hey, this thing's fixed, and it didn't eat one of our trains. Uh, yeah, the outposts don't actually get space elevator cables delivered to them if the ships don't come to pick up core fragments. So it's already in our interest to, to make sure that keeps flowing. We've already got some systems in place to remove excess, uh, like, fulminite, for example, uh, if it piles up enough. What is going on here? Oh no. Why do you have random iron plates? Bruh. How long has that been going on? 
I said this a million times last playthrough because we had a lot more problems with it. But I really wish you could set... Instead of just five seconds of inactivity, uh, I wish with LTN you could have the condition that gets put into the schedule when it goes back to depot to be that the, the train has to be empty before it starts another run. Your trains bring you gifts? My trains bring me headaches. That's the second little weird thing like that that I've caught LTN doing. In the last day or two. And suddenly Holmanite. At least this one's been flowing. Give me those beads. Where's the train that's headed for this stop, though? Here it comes. I want to see how long it takes to load. Oh, wow. Relative to this. Okay, so we are bottlenecking on the fact that I made this too small. Uh, for loading the train by quite a few seconds. Even though this is pushing 90 per second. Alright, um, let's make it like 30 stacks. I would have thought I would have thought 30 stacks would be reasonable for like stack size 50, but apparently not. Maybe the trains have to stop for a second when leaving the station, but pass through another loader. Yeah, remember that one last playthrough where we ended up with like, I don't know, exactly 48 advanced circuits appearing in the third cargo wagon of just like random LTN trains? That was an interesting one to track down. So they pick up something by accident during delivery. You remember that one? Nice. Uh, that didn't take long to load. I think I probably picked about the right spot there with um, 30 for the front cargo wagon. This is definitely a better system than like waiting until we have 100 plus some arbitrary amount of stacks, I think. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? I want to see if a ship was scheduled for Granis. It was. Otherwise we wouldn't be in the negatives. Nice. But is it enough? Probably not. Oh, it's already headed back? Nope, oh, that's a bit of a lunch. I was going to say, that must be it. Gibble Orbit. It is not it. Hold up, where's our ship headed for Granis? Is this it? Moss Garden? What? Where's our ship? What? What did... Oh, the ship wasn't actually sent yet. It was just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just sent to Central. It's actually sitting here right now. Cool, cool, cool. And if a ship isn't sent, like soon, then the cooldown to ask for another one is going to happen before we even send another ship, which would mean we could send like two at once, which is fine. That's actually a pretty cool system. If I could just come up with a way to... Uh, to compare all of them... and prioritize. That is quite, quite the task though. And we wouldn't be able to have, at, at least as far as I can think of, we wouldn't be able to have like everything sort of generic and not um, like, have a finite number of combinators and not have 
plus N combinators per outburst, which we did have a, a while ago. I didn't like that. Because I could see myself having a memory cell for each outpost so that we could compare them all. Because they share the same variables that would get added together. Alternatively, if I like looked at all of the inputs that we receive over a second or two seconds or whatever and had separate memory cells that we put I don't know, the first five that we receive onto or something and then compare those also functions like max like maximum out of a set of um, inputs is actually kind of a headache. I think it takes like 12 combinators minimum uh, to look at a set of inputs and pick the ma pick the one with the highest value. Because you have to iterate over all of them and use the anything signal to pick them one at a time and then subtract the one that you picked from the list uh, so you've got like another memory cell that's holding on to all of them, all of them minus one, all of them minus two of those entities, uh, of those variables rather. And then you have to loop through all of that and then finally say, that's the largest number. And then we'd have to take that type of core fragment and say, you can pass it through based on that. Hmm. Maybe I could just look at um, whichever types of core fragment we've got the least of back here. We are sending to central clock our core fragment count at each drop-off. So I could get the minimum out of those, which again would be a little bit of a headache it, it, it's too many combinators but it's not um, that's the wrong that's a transmitter you absolute derp is this central clock I don't actually have a receiver for central clock at this location but I guess I don't need to because they're normally I wouldn't need to because it's right here um, but let's say that we do because we want this information from each of our pickup slash drop-offs. Or, or rather, drop-offs slash launches. So here, here we can see how many core fragments of each type we've got. Uh, if I had a constant combinator that has, like, count one for every type of core fragment that we are collecting, then we can say whichever number has the minimum, we want to prioritize dispatching that. Min-max takes as many decider combinators as there are inputs, uh, signals you want to check maximum from. I think I know what you mean. The other option is to count how many ships are headed for, out, headed for each outpost. We, we were doing that originally. Um, but it's very easy for the count to get messed up. And then it's very difficult to set it so it's accurate. Um... Hmm. Uh, and it, also the, the other downside of that is you need arbitrary signal types for each outpost.
Not each outpost of each type, each outpost. Hmm. I wish we could just do something like each less than each or something to get the minimum. That would be very helpful. There's also the time signal to consider, but we can easily remove that. If we, like, add a million to it or something, and we're looking for the minimum, it effectively doesn't exist. Let's see. Circuits. Get minimum. Here we are. Oh, that's a different kind of minimum. This is... This is to find out exactly how low the accumulator gets during the night if the lasers don't fire. That's not that difficult. Um, I think it was NG who came up with this. Get minimum of N signals. Here we go. Oh my goodness. OMG, I don't have an arithmetic accumulator. Did I just say arithmetic accumulator? Good gravy. I think I need a break. For minimum, I do decide a combinator with condition everything bigger or equal than signal output is signal. Everything bigger or equal than signal, output is signal. I don't understand. What do you mean by signal there? With output count. I place them in parallel. Everything greater than or equal to everything? No. Do we have to iterate? I, I thought for a second you said you had a way to do it without iterating, but I could be wrong. I place them in parallel, inputs shared, outputs shared, and I configure as many of them as I have signals. Oh, so instead of like some generic, complicated, looping, iterating thing, we could just go like... Oh, I think I remember you using this for the Arcospheres. Hold on. If, um... So we're going to have, like, what is it, 17? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16. Potentially 16 types of signals, although I'm never ever going to get crude oil or probably mineral water core fragments. Coal is actually better for crude oil, if, if crude oil is what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, 16... Yeah, if we just have 16 of these in a row... I could live with that. So they're going to have the same input. And, like I said before, we're going to have a constant combinator uh, that effectively removes the time signal from this equation. Uh, time... 1 million? Uh, and we're going to say... what's the first one? Or fragment? Whole core fragment and mineral water core fragment, for example. Uh, if less than, can I say less than every? Oh, I can't put everything here. I guess I have to do it the other way around. If everything is greater than or equal to core fragment. That actually makes it easier. 
If everything is greater than or equal to core fragment, then output core fragment. And same for all the other types. Need to update all of these. It's going to be a task. Stone. Why are we bonking? Output port core fragment input count? Uh, that's one way we could do it. That's not really the part that I'm thinking about at the moment. I should have had the construction train stay here. Let's wait for me. You'll need 16 combinators then for Arcos. I have 11. Yes, 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 yes. Um, are we doing this in the same order? No. This one's number nine. Um, stone comes after oil. Don't know why. Oh, because oil is there, that's why. Core fragment, coal, mineral water, brood, stone, iron, copper. And rare metals. I've never seen these. I very much doubt we're going to need specifically rare metal core fragments. But I could be somewhat... I wouldn't be that surprised, but... It's not what I'm placing my bets on right now. Okay. What are we... Oh, I need to ignore... Wait, are we not receiving... Did I not connect these? I did. Oh, I forgot. We need like a, a value of one for each of these. Or at least each of the ones that we've got outposts for. So since we don't yet have outposts for any of these, we do have stone, we don't have iron, the copper core fragments aren't on this system yet, vulcanite, yes, granite core fragment, nope, hemocyte, beryl, fulminite, iridite, and vitamelange. Uh, erudite. Almanite. Oops. Uh, barrel. Emesite cave. And Vulcanite Cryonite. Cryonite. And I guess instead of zero, I need a large number. Um, we could have like combined these two. Time signal. Time signal. One million. And for anything that we don't have an outpost for, we need to set it to one mil. We're just setting it high enough so that it will always 
um, not come out as the minimum. And for everything we do have, we want to make sure if there are zero core fragments locally, we've got a variable to compare because a zero value does not exist uh, for Factorio Combinators. That should be it. So... Here we go. Everything's one. Why is everything one? Uh, let's do input count. That might be easy to read, actually. Wait, why is it out? No, why is it outputting everything? Um, it should only... If everything is greater than or equal to core fragment vitamelange, output core fragment vitamelange, which it is doing. So it's not outputting iridite, but when I look over here, I can see... Huh? Huh? Output set to one informs just which signal is minimum. Yes. For computer science students, this is example of how to unwind a loop over signals and processing them in parallel. EU went through daylight savings. Rip EU. So we're not outputting iridite core fragment. I don't see it over here. Um, everything greater than or equal to core fragment rare metals. Oh, I didn't connect this yet. That's why. Well, there's your problem. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't think it really matters if we do uh, input count or not, but it does give us more information. Especially as we just mouse over this. But it should only have one... It, it'll have only one output unless a couple of them are empty because it's very unlikely that they're ever going to have exactly the same amount stored in the containers waiting to be... Unless they're full, I guess. But we're looking for the minimum. Yeah, so that's like a lot of... That's like one combinator per each type of variable that we're comparing, but it's not n number of combinators, so I'm, I don't mind. So this is telling us that we're shortest on... wait, what? Apparently we have no holmium here right now, and that appears to be correct. That's weird, because Holmium is one of the resources that we have the least trouble moving. Okay, so if that's the case, I want to only dispatch... I want to take whatever's coming through here, and if it doesn't have one of these types of signal in it, don't pass it through to the local memory cell, to the central one. Why is that flickering? Oh, the actual memory cell isn't flickering. That's fine. How can I check... That's actually really difficult, though. 
I have a bunch of information. If it includes the signal type, one of these signal types, pass it through. But pass all of it through, not just that signal type. I don't know how to do that with Factorio Combinators. Isn't there daylight like saving shift in Oz, New Zealand? Uh, I don't know, I don't really pay attention to that. Koha, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Holy crap, I've actually gone much later than I realized. Um, I normally would have finished... 15 minutes ago and I didn't even think it was late and that's very strange considering how tired I was earlier today give me a minute um I guess I just got wrapped up in this problem committed hashtag gamer well I did start an hour later today uh so I guess that kind of evens out. I'm sure no one's complaining for longer stream. It's not actually longer, but, but sure. My body will be complaining. But no, I think I think I'll probably be okay. Full length stream tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe I should look into my demographics. If if enough people are an hour later, and it makes a difference to whether they would watch, like, an hour of the stream. Maybe I should move it forward again. Uh, then again, I don't really want to be finishing at midnight. If I was the only person in this house, that would be fine by me. Don't leave me to the RE4 and Diablo 4 madness? Uh-oh. Kellogg's. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you see in analytics where main chunk of viewers are? Yeah. I can definitely see at least that much. I know that even though I don't spend that much time looking at these things. By that much time, I mean basically ever. We will always have the VODs, indeed. Yeah, I don't know... I don't know how to say... If this stuff... Like, I, I would do it at an earlier step, but for example, if all of this stuff includes the signal types that we're getting from here, pass it through. I don't know if you can. Hmm. What if... Maybe I could send, like... Maybe I could send, like, negative a million of every other type of core fragment, except for these ones. And then... And then pass it through to the anything greater than 9k that we've already got here. So like, instead of the red wire going straight here, we take the red wire out this way. Um... We send it to a decider. We send the results of our comparison over here that includes negative a million for anything that isn't tied for minimum, which apparently right now is only stone. We've got, um, we've actually got every type of core fragment being dropped off or waiting to go into the trains at the moment. You know what, I think when we implement this, it might actually reduce burst traffic for the trains as well. It should 
tend to spread the different types of core fragments being sent down the space elevator out a bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's actually very encouraging that we've got six types of core fragments in storage at the moment. Why don't we have stone, though? Is stone busted? This would normally be full. Uh-oh. Stone is busted. How did this happen? I wonder if it had something to do with the space elevator ceasing to work. It probably shouldn't. <laughs> Alright, down the elevator you go, and then this guy can move forward. And then this guy can drop off on this side. I'm not too worried about the other outposts. I'm not, I can't see how this would have happened, but this is the only outpost where we lost, where we ran out of space elevator cables. So from this point on, it should be self-correcting. I could even add a condition to the trains at the drop-offs, like seconds of inactivity. I could make it a long bunch of seconds of inactivity just to be sure. I guess. Then again, it should only take a second if the train limits are working anyway. Um, but yeah. If we've got the results from this, we know that these two types of core fragments... Oh, I could literally just have a constant combinator with like... Negative a million, or was it positive? No, negative a million for each type of core fragment. And then this could say... Uh, everything? Everything greater than or equal to zero or one or something. Pass it through. And if we have neg... Negative one mil. No, what am I saying? What am I saying? Maybe it's... Maybe it needs fewer combinators than I thought. We just compare what we've got stored at home with a big negative number, or even not with a big negative number. I'm sure it's actually pretty simple, I just have to think it through with a clear head. We might be able to do this with far fewer combinators. I was going to have constant negatives into this and then compare it to this and pass through anything that's that meets some condition, and then here we've got like greater than anything greater than 9k. I don't know. But I, I, I definitely see the solution on the horizon. T hacks, can you bark out of window? No, absolutely not. I do not want to encourage it. I have outposts sending a signal for supply ship. I've been thinking about collision detection. I realized it would be very rare event. I, wait, what game is this? Collisions? My collision detection is that if multiple outposts signal, ship does nothing and I get speaker alert. Is this SE? I'm not following. Anyway, uh, it is high time to finish for today. Let's find someone to raid. We got rain. Always a good choice, especially for SE. Why not? 
Take care, Veldak. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Take care, Morpheus. Thanks for hanging out. And everyone else as well. Tomorrow we'll be continuing SEK2. Thank you, Scobix. Uh, day after is Tuesday. Just going to chill with some MechWarrior. And on Thursday, we're continuing with a uh, Kerbal Space Program with Kerbal Operating System and Ferrum Aerospace. And then some Oni, and then back to Factorio. Take care, Evil Plow, as well. See you next time. And Captain Tree. Alright, off we go. Get rid of this now. Hey, T Hacks, how you doing? Happy Sunday? Happy Sunday. I was just about to grab some coffee, but I'll give it a minute. We are just finishing up our first Homium whole planet. planet. Um, I, I could have gotten it somewhere, um, somewhere else. But, you know, but, we just have a little basic, you know, just a little basic build, here. build here. It's it's one of those it's, conditions, it's of those conditions where, where it just happened to have all the prime modules, and none of the speed or efficiency modules.